Uh, are we live? Uh, are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Where we have just got our first material science pack twos. Uh, I believe that's probably the first 12 we've produced. All time. Uh, let's see. No? Oh, that's tier one. Uh, Material Science Pack 2. We've made 16. Fantastic. Oh yeah, so there's like four in here. Yeah. Um, we're not researching though. Probably because we're trying to do Astro 1. Which we haven't actually made. Even though we've completed the uh, production chain for it. Pretty sure. There's our ingredients for simulation. Uh, I think we've got all of the simulations uh, able to feed into each other, especially into material science. But yeah, that should get going pretty soon. We only need 10 Astro Science Pack 1s. That would be 5 SIG data though. Uh, can we just skip this for now? I really want the... Oh, wow. Uh, never mind. It's like 2000 Astro Science 1 before we get the space elevator. Uh, even so, I kind of like to see research moving a little bit. Where's our labs? There we go. Fantastic. Philip B, thank you very much for the two months of the Prime. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Um, Alright, so I think I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Space Elevator is going to get researched without us doing anything else. But it's going to take a while. Uh, so what should we be doing in the meantime? I'd kind of like to start on our next outpost, to be honest. Although, having a space elevator for each outpost... Uh, it's a lot more relevant once we've actually got spaceships, actually. And it won't be too hard to transition to it. Or It, it won't really be any easier because we put it off. Uh, so why don't we look at whatever... We've already got Iridite uh, out of the um, advanced, uh, like the the lower tier of exotic resources. We've got Vulcanite, we've got uh, Cryonite, we've got Iridite, we've got Beryllium. We have finite sources of Holmanite, so I'd kind of like to go here next. It's also got zero biters, so that's nice. A fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Plan for tonight is basically wait for space elevator research to get done. Uh, and then set it up on Hagen. So that we can finally stop sending 100,000 rockets to Hagen orbit. Uh, and start really expanding our base properly. Uh, get rid of all that temp stuff. Um, but while we wait for that, I thought it would be nice to do some more outposting. Um, we've got rare metals on Hyperion when we can be bothered. Oh, wow. There's actually zero biters on Muir with infinite copper and a gargantuan radius. Um, it's not waterless, is it? No. I could get copper from here, but the liquid rocket fuel that it's going to cost to take off is going to be huge. Delivery cannons might not be a bad idea. It's going to take a lot of energy, but it's just electricity uh, to launch the copper from here. But... Um, 
but that's fine. We can get... We can get energy with, like... Well, not exactly solar power. It's pretty far from Calidus. Maybe nuclear power would be a good idea. If you don't need copper urgently, it can be space elevators, indeed. Yeah, I might... Well, the thing is, the space elevators... The space elevator on Hagen is top priority. But until we get spaceships, I'm not as excited about space elevators for the outposts um, because it really just means we're saving some liquid rocket fuel although we're probably bottlenecked on that no uh yes yes we are there's there's like not enough liquid rocket fuel for this to take off i just don't really want to have to build cargo rocket silos in orbit as well and then decommission them later Um, that's the only thing, but considering how much less it might cost uh, with the liquid, liquid rocket fuel and how far away spaceships might be, it's probably what we're going to have to do. We need Astro Science Pack 3 and nothing else to get basic spaceships. Um, I could use our one spaceship to ferry resources, but... Uh, that's going to be a bit of a bottleneck. Um, I don't think I want to do it that way. So yeah, I think as soon as we get Space Elevator, we're going to go for Astro 3. If we don't just go to energy 2 first, because there's a bunch of good stuff under that. Uh, is there, though? Better solar panels, ion engine. Oh, we need energy 2 for ion engines anyway. Fair enough. So I think it's going to be space elevator, energy 2, and then we head for spaceships, basically. Um, but which planet should be outpost in the meantime? We have actually had some copper shortages. Um, I mean, copper's not terrible on this planet. But I don't want to have to keep chasing it. Armin's Craze. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um... Oh, we've got Vidamalange here on this small planet. That's convenient. Moss Garden. Perfect name for it. Uh, we got even more copper on this tiny rock. I think we might have... Yeah, we've got a couple of pathetically small iron ore planets. Um... I think we should just do the... Holmanite outpost. So we don't have to worry when that starts to run thin on Hagen. Okay, so Verbt is our target. It's got zero biters. We can go ahead and scan that. Whoops. And I guess we start putting together the standard outpost. Uh, checklist. I definitely want to send more iron than this. Um, we we found ourselves a bit short last time. There's hardly any iron on Verb T as well. So even the standard practice of mining it to make up the difference is going to be horrendous. I could probably roll back the rail a bit. Oh, do we have ingots here? I'm sure we do. Yeah, why don't we replace the iron plate with ingots? Um, 2.5k, that's 25 stacks. Uh, 1250 ingots instead. Maybe I should do similar with the copper and steel. Hey, Fraser K. 
Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so that's already a lot more iron. Um, what about copper? Should probably do the same thing. Copper ingot. Uh, steel ingot. That might be a bit much, but do I care? It's better than sending an extra cargo rocket, I think. We can't handcraft uh, ingots into plate, can we? Nah. That would be way too convenient. Actually, we can. Okay, that's handy. I should really probably stop carrying a stack of plate uh, of each of these and start carrying ingots. Uh, iron ingot, copper ingot, steel ingot. Fantastic. Okay, Atmu condensers. Is that relevant? It is not waterless. Fantastic. I think on this planet, there's plenty of crude oil. Um, I think on this planet we might... What's the plan for today? Uh, basically, we are slowly researching uh, uh, space elevators in the background, and we're going to do an outpost or two. Vinmas, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why do I have beryllium plate? Um, what was I about to do? Oh yeah, I was thinking about... I was thinking about doing the other um, liquid rocket fuel recipe on Verbi, the different production chain, that is. Uh, do I have a blueprint for it? I don't think so. Yeah, I kind of want a whole other block. Uh... Where the heck is this blueprint? The liquid rocket fuel. Have I just been copy-pasting it? Probably. Uh, I think we should just start from scratch here. Okay. Research is already stuck. Uh, I don't know that it's that stuck. It's just slow. Heavy bearing requires material 2, which is going to be slow. We're out of material 1 as well. No, we've got material 1. Oh, we just don't have any more to bring. Um, yeah, we don't have any material 2 right now. We've made like 20 or something, less than that. Material 2, I think we put it over here. We're looking for significant data, always. And that's always bottlenecked on something else, and so on. It's just slow. Uh, but for now, we're doing outposting. Let that cook in the background. So let's remind ourselves of this production chain. Um, we need some nitrogen, oxygen, uh, fuel refineries. That's not a fuel refineries. Uh, where are we? Fuel refinery? Boovin, subhen, 
Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. Liquid rocket fuel can only be made from solid. Needs a ton of oxygen and one iron plate. Uh, solid rocket fuel has three recipes. This is the one I'm interested in, potentially. Because um, we can get it infinitely, except for the cost of iron. Which is going to be quite small. Uh, so let's see. Ammonia, oxygen. How do we get ammonia again? We need chemical plants. And then we just need hydrogen and nitrogen, both of which we can get out of the air. Um, or rather... Oh, huh. I didn't know you could just take water from Atmo condensers, or I forgot anyway. That is super convenient for low throughput water recipes. Um, but I was thinking of separating. We need electrolysis. Uh, let's see, water into hydrogen and oxygen. We do have water on... I'll just double check on verb team. Yes, indeed. It's right there. Oh, I like the terrain on these planets. I mean, it's horrifically hilly for building a base on. We're going to need a lot of cliff explosives, actually, even for a pretty small outpost. Because I'm still going to use a couple of uh, rail blocks for this. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have water coming in. Uh, we separate to hydrogen and oxygen. Mostly because we need the hydrogen. We can also get it from... We need water regardless. Alright, so water becomes hydrogen, we also get a bit of oxygen. We'll probably need way more oxygen than this. Uh, and we also need... Uh, nitrogen. Hydrogen plus nitrogen makes ammonia. And the rest is pretty straightforward. What about the ratios? I think I'd like to just have efficiency ones, keep it nice and cheap. Then again, how many modules do I have at this point? Whoa, the map. Okay. Uh, modules, we've got... Ooh! Wow, that's been going well. Uh, 882 prod threes. I think we've almost arrived. Very good. Although we're still bottlenecked on Vulcanite, which is bottlenecked on liquid rocket fuel over here. Which... is it busted? Light oil... and this one's working. Why are we short on light oil? We're short on getting rid of petroleum. Oh, we've only got the vent on one side. Also... Okay, this one is venting, but is it even fast enough? We're saturated on solid fuel. Was there another use of petroleum I was forgetting? Probably power production. I'd have to go over there, probably, to make a bunch of gas power plants. Multi-cylinder engines. This is where we've got a bunch of single cylinders lying around already. We need iron gears and iron plate. Um, we've got a couple of thousand gears, lots of plate. Gas power station. This will. Uh, I don't think there's much point though, because 
we're running everything off solar already. Um, it's just gonna mean... Oh wow, we're very, very ready for the CME. Grenus in 15 and a half hours, and our steam is totally saturated. Fantastic. Um, but yeah. If we're already producing enough solar power to run the four fragment miners enough to bottleneck on liquid rocket fuel instead, then producing more power isn't going to make a difference. Uh, do we have a flare stack? We do not. Let's fix that. Oh, that's not what I meant. Um, flare stack. Let's make a few so we don't have to do this again next time. Uh, and I need to add this over here. And I need to double check that it's actually able to remove the petroleum fast enough. Assuming we're not doing any cracking. 84 petroleum gas per second. This can kill 50 per second. We actually need two of these. Uh, and I'll just double check. There's nothing else we can use the petroleum for. Unless we want to burn it for fuel. Goes into vulcanite blocks, but that's not happening on this planet. Solid fuel we're already doing. Kissing walnuts, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. We can make coal, wood, and crude oil with processed fuel, vitamilage, bloom, and vitalic reagent. Um, I don't know how likely it is that we would need to do that, but it's there. Uh, and we can always literally just destroy it, like we're going to be doing here. We can make biomatter, who cares? Um, plastic, not going to happen. Sulfur, chemical gel. Yeah. Alright. I may as well set up the power plants as well. Um, but that said, what's going on here? Oh, we've got an endless cycle of of putting these bots in. Okay then. Should that have been like negative fifty one? No. Have you played Terraria? I have indeed. In fact, I stream it once a week. Uh, next episode will be going up against the Moon Lord on the Don't Dig Up seed. I forget what the actual seed is called. Um, okay, so we need some flare stack. When? Uh, Monday for my time, so in three days. You can actually see it on the schedule. Um, I almost always keep to that schedule. Alright, we got our flare stacks as well. Let's park our train over here. It'll probably get both of those done with no further action from me. Let's make sure though. And go. Fantastic. Oh, we need some steel pumps as well. And apparently this is not getting built either. Uh, okay. Let's add some regular pipe. Uh, some steel pump. And go. 
Power of Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, I think we're good now. Let's reset our train. And I think we've got everything we need to build this thing. Slash repair the mistakes. Oh, I need a medium power pole as well. I think we've got one lying around, probably. Yes. Fantastic. Alright, take two. Go park in range and get these things built. So we can start removing excess petroleum and keep the light oil moving. Also... Uh, oh, I already separated these. That's fine. Cool. So we're now deleting 100 uh, petroleum per second, assuming that this one gets more than 95% full. Uh, which should mean we start making light oil again in the near future. But I think... Uh, just to speed things up, now that we've got that working, uh, I'm just going to delete the petroleum from one container each. There we go. So that should hopefully get... you know what, we can go a few more. Uh, that should get all the light oil being produced again. Once the fluids very slowly slosh around. Nice. Uh, so, let's have a look. We want to fit as much liquid rocket fuel as we reasonably can in one of these builds, um, probably without beacons. How fast is this? Uh, it's actually not the same ratio as from the light oil. Okay. We need way more of these. How, how fast is it? For one per second? Or how many? We need 16. It's weird that I own a pumpkin year rounded named it Steve. Uh, okay. Don't think I understand, but that's fine. So this is actually a perfect ratio right here. Oh, it's not. Did I miscount? I did miscount. That's a perfect ratio. That's a lot. Can I just put a... Uh, liquid rocket fuel container right about here? seems decent. Layout could maybe do some work, uh, use some work. Um, as for the oxygen, we would need a thousand per second. That's going to be an awful lot of atmospheric condensers. Um, we're going to need A thousand ammonia per second, which is a hundred of these? Really? At this rate, I'm not doing it all in one block. Yeah, a thousand ammonia, a thousand oxygen, one and one of these. 
or just one iron plate rather. Uh, okay. So we literally need a hundred of these things. And of course they have the two different fluid inputs, which means the smallest, uh, smallest thing we can do isn't that small. Uh, actually, I want to borrow from myself. Not too long ago, we had a build where we stumbled on something new for the double fluid inputs. I believe this is it. But we'll use this recipe. And copy paste like so. How many is this? It's only 40. We need 100. Uh, that should probably connect. That is 80. That is 16. Is there no way to fit this neatly? 96. Um... Can we do, like, 10 by 10, maybe? Might be good. And like that. And that's 100. Or 110, I guess. So that is 649? What? Oh, it's got prod modules in it. God damn it. That's exactly 1,000 ammonia per second. I think we're going to put that in its own block. Uh, and then we need 1,000 oxygen per second. Well, they should probably feed each other directly rather than having trains deliver these things. Um, how many of these would we need? Uh, 23. I started a K2SE run with your blueprints. It's going pretty well. Nice. And thank you, Zaxon. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, we're going to need a thousand hydrogen per second, which is... Oh, wow. More than a hundred of these? How much liquid rocket fuel should I be aiming at? I wanted to arbitrarily just keep one of these machines going at full speed and work backward from that. That would be 50 liquid rocket fuel per second, so 50,000, 1,000 seconds uh, would be about uh, 15 minutes, 16.67 minutes per rocket launch. And 50 stacks, uh, sorry, 500 stacks. Of, uh, Holmium core fragments. How big is this planet? 3760? So bigger than this one. Uh, how many drills do we have on it? Let's see. We have nine. And we get, so that's getting into diminishing returns a bit. We get uh, like 30 core fragments per second. So we can expect maybe 40-ish. Um, 
which is two stacks per second, which is 250 seconds, or four point four and a quarter minutes to load up a cargo rocket. Um, so we'd need a lot more than this if we wanted to keep up. But I think we'll just measure out one ratio of this and we'll copy it if it's not meeting our holmium needs. Um, okay, so let's do the easy one first. We need a thousand nitrogen. That's actually not too hard at all. Eight of these machines. Um, could maybe put that there. Four, five. Where would be the neatest place to do this? Do we need anything else dropped off? Hydrogen. Hydrogen's gonna need way too many of these. Like 133? No, 140? 150. And 1.5k water per second. Bloody hell. That's half of our oxygen, though, that we need. So we only need, uh, like, 11 of these things? 12? Okay. So, just like that. Am I really going to build 150 of these? How am I going to do the layout? Still, this is infinite liquid rocket fuel, except for the iron cost. I really do... I, I really would prefer to have that just work instead of the on and off uh, liquid rocket fuel we've had over here. Okay, so we are making liquid rocket fuel again. Fantastic. Can we do 10 rows like this? Probably not. If we do underground pipe shenanigans... I could do a repeating pattern with something like this, I suppose. I don't love the look of that, but it could be worse. Alternatively... If we do it like this... Spread these out a bit. Um, can we alternate? Or something? Uh, then the oxygen would have nowhere to go. Maybe like this. In which case, they could be close together. I think I should probably have the pipes able to escape on both sides, so the uh, liquid flow, sorry, fluid flow, isn't as difficult. Uh, we still need water input. That shouldn't be a problem. How fast is the water? I think it's pretty slow. 1.5k for the whole thing, that's like two fluid pipes. This is the one we want to copy. That seems pretty good. I 
I think. Does crushing the core fragment compact things down enough to save on rockets? Uh, yeah, but it's a pain, and I want to get away from the rockets as soon as possible. So I don't want to build a massive infrastructure to support all of that that I'm just going to want to remove. Okay, so we could go like 10 by 5 maybe, or whatever fits best, that's 30, that's 10 by 6 isn't it, no, that's 90, what, how did I, 15 by 6. We need 150. This is going to be way bigger. Um, like that. That's 165. Well, it's pretty square at least. That's our 1k hydrogen and 500 oxygen. I might just do a build that's not going to be inside a rail block this time. Makes a lot of sense for outposts. And we can just have a train come pick up the result. And drop off the iron. And everything else is just infinite supply. And hurry up and decon all that. Rather repath all the trains. Fantastic. Alright, let's double check our ratios here. Perfect. Except for oxygen, which is slightly positive, which is fine. Uh, if I removed just one of these, uh, we'd be negative on oxygen. Nitrogen is negative? What? Nitrogen? Oh, I haven't done that eight of these yet. Okay. Um, uh, got like one, two, three, four, five, and we want eight of these things. So, kind of like that. Does that line up? Not quite. It's, how much is it? A thousand. How about we just do it like this? And whichever one is nitrogen, connect like so. And up here, same deal. And we'll be needing some nitrogen over this way as well. And down here. Nitrogen. And go. Seems fine. Alright, so everything is positive or zero. Uh, 140 extra nitrogen? Oh yeah, because we couldn't, just like with the oxygen, we couldn't ratio this just right. That's fine. So 1.5k water and one iron plate per second gives us 50 liquid rocket fuel per second. Uh, is what this monstrosity <laughs> results in. Uh, 
uh, now that I've got that out of the way, I kind of want to see how much better it could be with prod modules. Since prod 3s are not so expensive now. Where are my containers? Are they on the floor somewhere? Um, okay, how about this? Give me some inventory space, please. And some prod threes. How much electricity would this cost? We can subtract 80% if we use efficiencies. Uh, 435 megawatts. Damn. 43 megawatts. Oh, sorry. Like 90 megawatts is not so bad. If we give it, give it efficiencies. Uh, but it's going to get a lot worse when we start putting prod 3s in. Wait, we can't prod this. Okay. Uh, that simplifies it a bit. Can we prod this one? We can. Wouldn't that require more machines to keep up with the same throughput, though? Uh, and we're prodding... infinite supplies. So I don't think prods make any sense here. Um, we need a thousand nitrogen per second. Or oh, sorry, ammonia per second. This would just make it need twice as many machines. Uh, but prod here would make a pretty big difference. Uh, so we're gonna have only 0.4 solid rocket fuel per second. And so 40% input, slightly less than 50% output. Are you trying to make rocket fuel from thin air? Basically, yes. Hissing walnuts, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. A mere 2x2 two two reactor? Yeah, we might do that. Um, I also want prods on the machines that take in copious amounts of ammonia and oxygen. How about we just copy those over here? I don't imagine the ratio will stay exactly the same. Uh, it's a very slightly positive solid rocket fuel. Um, that's probably fine, honestly. That's still slightly positive. That's still slightly positive. That's still slightly positive. Now we're now we've shifted the bottleneck. Captain Faf, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How is your stream today? Factorio, fantastic. Um wow. That is a dramatic shift. So instead of a thousand ammonia and oxygen per second to get 50 liquid rocket fuel, uh, we need 30% of that to get about, like, 49%. Are we... Brain is finished, stream was good and happy, fantastic. Oh, we are. I misread that. Roller Gota, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, alright, so... Probably do just a couple of these for good measure. Um, I could even output the solid rocket fuel, but I, I don't think it's worth it in K2SE to use solid rocket fuel for fueling trains or something. Does the nuclear fuel need solid rocket fuel as input? Probably won't even be using that either, because we've got nuclear trains and stuff. 
Insert Farfraid message here, indeed. Eagle Inga, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so this is... And thank you for the follow. Should I double this or trim this down? I think probably trim down this, because good grief. Uh, so, 350 oxygen per second. We can't get prods out of these ones. Uh, well, forget the oxygen, that's the easiest thing to adjust afterwards. 350 ammonia per second uh, is going to be 35 of these. Why don't we just do, like, 40? Because that's way too many just to keep it neat. Double? I think I'll double it in a modular way, though, if I do. Like, I'll copy all of this again. Instead of have such having such a large, um, like, segment. Okay, let's bring that over to the side, and how much is this? 40? 400 per second? Let's do 36, so it's slightly positive. So that's our ammonia... Um, got way more than enough nitrogen. Wait, do we? How much do we need? 360 per second. We only need three. Let's do it like this. I think that looks a bit better. Uh, and then we need the hydrogen as well. It's going to come from up here. Uh, the only place we need hydrogen is this. We need 360 hydrogen per second, which comes out to still quite a lot of these machines. 54. Although that would be if we weren't getting 10 extra here. So 350 or so. 353. I don't like the odd number. Let's go 54. Um, what does 54 divide into? 6. Does it divide into 7? No. Obviously not 5. 4. Uh, could go 3 18s, uh, 6 9s. I'm thinking 6 9s, maybe. Is that it? 56? Uh, that's too many. Wasn't it 54 that we're looking for? Oh, this is by 14, actually. Whoops. Maybe we could fit this crap into a rail block. Let's see. If we did six nines, that should be right. Nice and square. Um, but we'll need some... Could actually get the oxygen out like this, but not the hydrogen. Unless I swap it around. We're going to have way more... 180 oxygen. We need 350 in total. Um, 350 minus 180. We need 170. That's only going to be four machines. 
G.E. Marshall, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's put our rail block back here. Because it really does look like if we try real hard, we might just fit it all in a rail block. Maybe. Didn't we need three of these? Yeah, three. Uh, burgers and fries, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Factorio, fantastic. Uh, maybe I could put these further apart or something. But regardless, it shouldn't be too difficult. How goes tea hags? Not too bad, thanks for asking. Uh, can we fit these in somewhere? Not even close. I don't think we could spread it out. Horizontally to get the job done. We need how many? 54. This is 30. 38. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Let's just do a pair of rail blocks and we'll pipe the, um... Well, actually, there's no reason. This, this one doesn't have to be a rail block, it just has to be nearby somewhere. We're going to pipe water to it. Uh, and we're going to pipe out the um, oxygen and hydrogen. But I may as well put all of this together, I guess. So what are we actually dropping off? It's just iron plate... Uh, and I think that's it, actually. Yeah, literally the only input that we have to supply that's not infinite from water is iron plate. And we only actually need one pump of water as well. I wish I could make all that fit in one block. Maybe there's a way. I, I, I seriously have my doubts, but I want to try. Um, that almost works. link those together. Also, if I put these this close together, we're not going to be able to have the output on the side. It's actually really close. Oh wait, we don't need that repeating pattern on the side. It's actually It actually takes up less space, uh, assuming we're not mirroring it on the opposite side. So like... Like this, I think? Seems good. I kind of want it to follow the same pattern. 
with the nitrogen on the right. Nice and close. Hydrogen. Uh, this ta this side actually does take up just as much room, but this one we gained a tile. Unless, uh, no, that doesn't quite work. Uh, kind of does. Hello. Let's have a look at that in a sec. Right, so nitrogen. So if this goes here, and that goes across there. Oh wait, what am I doing? This would still have to... Isn't that just as big as before? Yeah, we're not actually gaining anything here. Never mind. Wasn't I doing the hydrogen on the right side for the sake of... Consistency. That'll do. Okay. Actually, why don't I copy it like that? Easier not to make a mistake. Style points, though, indeed. Uh, gotta get all of the style points. No question. Uh, and hydrogen. I could actually connect it like this as well. In some places, at least. Oxygen, I think, will go down this side. Oh, I can even... I can even do oxygen like this. You just hooked up the oxygen and nitrogen into the same system on the right side chem plants? Oh, true. Good call, thank you. Um, and I guess... Something like this. For the hydrogen. Actually seems pretty good. Can we fit this down here somewhere? Not quite, but I can probably move the whole thing up. That's not going to have room for the fluid inputs. Somewhere like that. Potentially I'll put the station on this side. Depends on how things fit together. Um, and we 
don't necessarily have to have these in rows, but whatever's easier. That's oxygen, though. Oh, it actually won't let me place it there. Is it possible to keep these separated with some undergrounds? I think so. Why don't I just do it like that for the most part? Uh, and then there's no room for the oxygen. Whoops. Let's bring this as far up as we can. Maybe put these near the top. Forget about this part for now. Maybe move that down one tile. Yeah, as long as the gas can get where it needs to go, it's fine. Could I maybe... Uh, we're not going to need the water input to keep going like that. So we should... God damn it. Uh, I was going to say we should be able to do it this way, but that's not quite right. Is it okay if we just stick this out a little bit? Probably. there and maybe through here as well where's this gonna go just enough room I like the look of that a little bit better. Uh, and maybe also over here. Just so there's better flow. That's actually looking pretty good. So all of these are just going to have efficiency modules. Uh, the oxygen is going to have efficiency modules. The rest are going to have prods. And... Probably put this on this side. We're obviously going to have to move these. It doesn't quite work. could do slightly negative on the solid rocket fuel, but it's actually a significant chunk of the input if I do that. These don't necessarily have to lead straight to it either. What if we did it... That doesn't quite work. Unless I put them further apart, maybe? Do I even have room to do that? Uh, yeah, I kind of do. Sort of. Maybe. In theory. Let's see what this would look like.
I'm surprised. I don't think I've ever tried this layout before. Hydrogen and nitrogen again? You mean they're connected? Looks like it. So where are they connected? That is... Oh, I see. That's nitrogen. That's hydrogen, right? Looks good. Seems a good. Uh, Gil Tonics, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I could actually just go there. That looks even weirder. Oh yeah, we don't have these three in place yet either. We'll worry about that in a minute. So could I actually fit this somewhere? Uh, I mean, yeah, as long as I don't mind. Uh, it's, it's actually painfully close to fitting well. What if we had this one over here instead? Uh, and then we need output for the solids. Which I could squeeze down here or something. Or just, for the look of it, belt it around like this. Or how about... Down here. They should be individually quite slow, right? Yeah, ridiculously slow. I don't mind this. It's not my usual style, but this whole thing is not my usual style. Uh, and then we have one of these about here, that can go over there. And then belt. Why don't we just use blue belt so we have the nice, uh, nice long undergrounds. Fantastic, indeed. Bachiba, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, substation's gonna reach across this. Uh, gross. I guess I'll just have to do it something like this. Actually, I think we're gonna have a lot of medium poles in this build regardless. Let's just not worry about the substations. Uh, and then we're just missing three of these things. Uh, one. And... A two. And a... Not three, actually. Not there. I don't think we're going to get a nice... Oh, uh, I could put it here. A relatively nice, neat build for this. Let's check our rates. 
Uh, we're missing oxygen still, but that's only four of these, which we should be able to fit over here somewhere, or just about anywhere for that matter. I don't think we actually need the giant storage tanks, because we only need 350 oxygen per second. So I actually just need to add four of these somewhere, uh, and that's actually a perfect fit. Well, let's check our rate. Uh, perfect zero on the hydrogen, except that the thing that the hydrogen is going to go into is going to be positive, so it's this is sort of positive already. Uh, slightly positive on the solid rocket fuel. We're actually only consuming 0.4 per second. Um, what percentage is that? Is it 99 over 100 gives us the percentage. So 0. 0.40 over 0. 0.434. We're operating at 92.16% efficiency. If I don't do a second, a second machine to make the liquid rocket fuel. I think I should probably just do that. And why don't we do it this way? Um, pumps. Go to the train. That's not going to reach directly. That is... Don't need a train stop here. Iron plate is going to which? Uh, iron plate is going here. Which is... A little tricky. I could do the drop-off station over here. Probably might be a better idea this time. Which means we'd have all of this space available, actually. Um... Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Can I move that up a bit or something? I'm sure I can. Alternatively, I could just bring the iron plate down from here, like usual. That pipe is ever so slightly in the way. I could move all of this down... Maybe a tile? Or two? Or more? That part's gonna stay, actually. Not quite as snug up against the rail this way. Uh, I should have brought it down one more tile. Here. Uh, don't really have space for another belt unless I shift this thing. I could use a half belt for the iron plate for input. And then it would go over here and be useless, but whatever. Or I could just split it off like this. 
Where's my splitter? Where's the filter? There'd still be a bit of iron plate sitting on the belt, wasted. This wouldn't actually have room, would it? I don't think I hate this. Why is that one not upgraded? Uh, I, I sort of hate where that signal is. We don't really need this bit of rail. I could move it. We're already doing an unusual shape for the build, regardless. So that means we've got plenty of room here now. Why don't we just do long arms? Or the iron plate. I don't love these taking from the corner, but the iron plate input is so slow that I think it's fine. Can I move all of that up time? I think so. Much convenient. Could move it over one just so that this corner doesn't look so weird. Assuming this reaches, which it does. Alright, I don't think I mind this. Let's do some simulated inputs. Uh, first of all, iron plate. And then some water. That's cryonite slush. Uh, I probably... I think I'd probably just have the water link up outside of the block to make it easy. So just like this. Uh, and this goes here. One online. Good. And Harvey UK, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Red underground exit, yes indeed. Was correct. Uh, medium poles... I'm gonna go... Like this? That doesn't look too bad. But I have this reach over here, though, if I alternate it the other way. No. Not quite what I had in mind, but this'll do. That's pretty tidy on the map. Oh, we don't have power down here. Or here. Whoops. What about a more... Oh, that doesn't quite reach. Bruh. What about a more aggressive zigzag? For the look of it. That's making multiple things connect. I hate it. Okay, that goes there, 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 there. That one's not connected. 
Bruh. Bruh. How about this then? That actually works pretty well. Substation? Um, I guess we could do that over here actually, yeah. Now that we've moved all that other stuff. Okay, how about you go here and you go here. Larius? Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That doesn't quite reach. Uh, I will need to do medium poles in here somewhere. So how about one off? Uh, okay. Have it your way. noise though. And I guess over here as well. And then one little substation down around here perhaps. That doesn't look too bad. And last but not least, medium poles up uh, this way. This bit's a little bit unfortunate. And just two of them are not covered. I could have gone further than two buildings down, though. Like this. And start from the outside one. That's... Okay, apart from this nonsense... Uh, that's fairly tidy, I guess. It will have to do. Okay. Uh, so what infinite inputs are we doing? Iron plate, water, and that should be it, right? Uh, and we need some electricity. So that should work. I think. We haven't got the oxygen linked over here yet. Um, it should be slow enough, actually, that this will be fine. I imagine. should do. Any more superfluous connectors? Seems good. I think that's it. Where's our ammonia? It's not connected yet. Uh, so that can just go through here, I guess. It's just enough room. 
Or I can do it this way as well. That's probably going to work out a bit better sometimes, perhaps. Not really. Oh, I can't even squeeze it in there. Never mind. Unless I want all of these pipes to go up here. And then we just have... That wouldn't be any better. Let's do it this way. And... It's going to take a little while to get up to saturation. And let's get some efficiencies in the machines that aren't using prods. Uh, let's see. Module inserter. Electrolysis plant. Two efficiency ones. Chemical plant. Two efficiency ones. Or I could do a single efficiency three. I wonder if that would be easier just to bring the efficiency modules here. I mean, it would be twice as easy stack-wise. be kind of a waste, uh, materially. Apparently we need a robot network to put those in. And let's go... Infinity Passive Provider, and I think it's Construction Bots that are going to put in those uh, efficiencies. No, it's not Infinity Passive Provider, it's Infinity... Oh, Infinity... No, Aggregate Passive Provider Chest. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, that's actually looking pretty good. Fits in a rail block. Very neatly. We got iron plate in, liquid rocket fuel out. Everything else comes from water. And it's slow, but we're literally just paying iron plate for liquid rocket fuel. At a rate of... Uh, I would say... Wait, it's about 0.35 iron plate for about 25 liquid rocket fuel, a little bit more. Yeah, I'd much rather build this two or three more times than have to deal with the headache of... Well, it's not just the headache, it's like on Granis, for example. All of our oil mining, um, two blocks for processing crude oil, and then a couple of blocks for actually making the liquid rocket fuel. Uh, as opposed to probably like four blocks to just make liquid rocket fuel from iron and water. The difference of course being that Granis is waterless, so we wouldn't be able to do that here. And almost every planet that I've landed on so far has been that way. Um, but yeah, I am glad I finally got around to making this build. I think that actually seems pretty good. Oh, and how fast do we consume the water?
half a K per second. I, I really wouldn't recommend delivering that by train. That would be a train every hundred seconds for water, approximately. Uh, but yeah, we are seeing oxygen saturate. I'm not seeing ammonia saturate just yet. It is very slightly positive. I am seeing all of these machines. It's very slightly positive and there's a huge buffer in each machine. So it's no wonder it hasn't saturated. But I am seeing all of these machines active, which is what we want. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty good, actually. All right. So, iron plate. Um, don't know how much. Let's just set it a little bit over one train load, because um, the rate of consumption is so low. So, we'll go for an extra thousand potentially. One five UPS is not a lot. What do you mean? Oh, midden? And Kellogg's, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Evil Pla, welcome also. My mega base is currently at 1.5 UPS or so, maybe placing down a 20 by 20 rail group with spiders building it. All was a bad idea. Is it the placing of the signals? And every train in the game repassing? Uh, short trains are fine, I think. We're dropping off iron plate to make uh, liquid rocket fuel and this is just liquid rocket fuel provider. Don't need to provide stack threshold. Short trains are fine. This will do. So nice 45 or so before the signals, so just waiting it out, fair enough. Um, stations are so simple for this one. It was really just all these machines and getting them fit together was the challenge. Um, but yeah, I am really happy that we've got that one done. We can just stamp that down. The liquid rocket fuel on any planet that isn't waterless now. Um, with the caveat that we shouldn't supply water by train. We could, there's room right here to do a water drop off, but I think that's a bad idea. Okay, uh, let's do ammonia liquid rocket fuel as the symbol for this one. Uh, free liquid rocket fuel. Snap to grid. Wait, that's not right. Uh, 86, 25, 1. Train stop names, modules, no cheat things. And I think I'll remove the wind turbines since this is just for outposts. Recently came to the conclusion that a rail grid isn't worth the UPS hit for me. I'd much rather go with tree structure and free placing of prod sites. I mean, I don't think the rail grid costs that as much as you'd think. Um, it's really when you place the signals that force every train to repath that it's more of an issue. Okay, what's the problem here? Oh, it changed it. It did change it to 24. I definitely put in 25 before. There we go. It's rotatable as well. Fantastic. Um, how about other fluids? Cool. 
So we're going to be using that on our next outpost. Um, I thought of that when I noticed... Wait, what? Oh, we actually moved, removed a lot. We don't have any ingots here for copper and steel. Um, why not? That's actually a good question. Why don't we have copper ingots here? And steel ingots I probably just haven't requested yet. Copper ingot. We do have a train load available. Or two. Or three. Um, let's have a look at our requests over here. Negative 4.2k. Uh, divided by 50. That's 84 stacks. Provide stack threshold. Request stack threshold is only 40. Copper. We do have copper ingots here. We don't have steel ingots though. Should probably hurry up and request those. Uh, so what's the problem? Why aren't they in the cargo rocket? Because we're trying to load steel ingots. Okay, fair enough. Here comes 4k from Nalvis. Very, very nice. Still got quite a few left. And then... Socket traffic management in a grid. You do have to put a little bit of thought into where your rail grids go. Um, to not make it too bad. Okay. Here comes the steel. That's going to go in the cargo rocket. After the steel is loaded, we'll load the copper ingots. Uh, we also want a bunch of prod modules. How many does this blueprint require? I think I should at least double it. 48, so one stack. And four stacks of pr uh, efficiency ones. The problem that I have to think about is the problem. What? Old Busk, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Would it be more stack efficient to make the efficiency ones on site? We need electronic components. Um, five components, that's like... Is it five or ten percent of a stack? It's five percent. Our efficiency one. I'm pretty sure it would be more stack efficient just to send the efficiencies. Uh, a I mean, it would be a lot more stack efficient just to send efficiency threes. And because they're based on Crynite, uh, we haven't actually, actually had any trouble making them. So let's look at that blueprint and... Divide by two for the efficiency modules. Uh, so four stacks becomes two stacks. I think I'll just carry them this time. Take some quads and... Some efficiency. Don't forget a lot of cliff explosives. Good call, thank you. Uh, and it really is going to be a lot of cliff explosives. I might have to make them on site. I mean, look at this. No matter where we build. Uh, 
I really like this world gen, though. It looks cool. It looks kind of believable, sort of. Um, alright, so... I may as well carry a bunch of those on my person. Cliff Explosive. Cliff Explosive. There, wait, there it is. Uh, hello. Fantastic. What is this monstrosity? Which monstrosity? Is this planet 100% cliffs? <laughs> Apparently. Um, so that's what? Almost 200? Oh, here we go. How are we doing with loading the rocket? Uh, we're done. Cool. Should we take some more... Intermediate products, perhaps? We always end up needing a bunch more, um... Multi-cylinder engines, and they're kind of a pain to make on the spot. A little bit more of a pain than other things, anyway. Uh, we definitely want... I'm already bringing the efficiency modules. We shouldn't need electronic components. Unless there's something else they go into. Not really. Uh, signals we'll make on the spot. What do I always find myself missing? Uh, I didn't mean to click that. What do I always end up having to handcraft? I could do some gas power plants. But we're not going to have to get oil from this planet. Are we sending... Five cargo landing pads, five cargo rocket things, that's enough. Chemical plants... Uh, I'll already have on me... Refineries. I could make a steam battery this time before having to come back, but I really don't feel like it. Landfill? Uh, I'm just... When, when I'm going to build that big of a outpost, um, I'm just going to stick to where there's already land. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, actually, uh, this planet is swampy as hell even where there's lots and lots of cliffs. It looks like there's little bits of water everywhere. Can't quite see it here. I think those are trees. Well, regardless, landfill wouldn't be the worst idea. Doesn't look like there's as much random stone to be picked up on this planet. Yeah, might not be the worst idea. Alright, let's bring, like... I guess a thousand landfill. Oh, I already brought 2k. No, I didn't. Multi-cylinder engines. That is a lot of cliffs, holy moly, remember explosives, indeed. We are bringing uh, at least a couple hundred. Not Steel Mage, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Excuse me, sir, but there seems to be planet on your cliff. Yes, indeed. Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, we don't need any destroy capsules on a planet with zero biters. We've got our defenses, we've got... Oh, I don't see any ammo. Um, also, apparently we don't have any more landfill here. What would I make landfill out of on the spot? Is the question. I could do it out of copper. There's actually supposed to be lots of uranium here, I haven't seen any. Uh, it's way over here. Did we stop scanning this thing? Extra trains and wagons? I think it's better to make them on the spot. Better stack density. I'll still carry a few just like this. Um, we should have... yes we do. Plenty of substations. Oh, more belt. Definitely more belt. Train fuel? Uh, you're making me realize we will actually have to do something about train fuel. Um, do I need to make an oil block after all? I think I'll just do a small uh, oil setup instead of building an actual block to fuel the trains this time. Alright. Seems a good. Unless you're running trains on rocket fuel. Yeah, I don't want to do that. It's so slow to make uh, rocket fuel with K2. Can't you use your new rocket fuel block for trains as well? Uh, I would if it was not K2 and we didn't need ludicrous amounts of stuff to make a very small amount of liquid rocket fuel. Um, I need all of that to go into the cargo rockets. So I think... Um, I'll just double check there isn't, like, there isn't a way to make fuel out of... out of this free stuff, is there? Hydrogen... Oh, you can make heavy water. Heavy water goes into DT fuel cell, tritium. Okay, that's pretty specific. Uh, hydrogen. Don't think so. Hold up. Solid fuel plus hydrogen makes fuel. Do we gain any fuel value? 20 megajoules times 6 is 80, and we get 150. So, yes. We still have to make the solid fuel, though, so this is basically just a discount. Planning on making artificial stars? Uh, soon, TM. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find much better. I've already checked what goes into solid rocket fuel. Just all types of oil. Or solid fuel, rather. Turn it into processed fuel for a bit more efficiency. 
can add hydrogen for a bit more efficiency. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Do we have some... We don't have all of our landfill here. I'm pretty sure we do have landfill in the rail block somewhere. Rail system. Uh, landfill. Make it 2k. And I think... Yeah, here it is. Someone should be picking that up in just a moment. I assume you can further process the fuel. Yeah, I think you could probably even throw that into a fuel processor. Uh, but it's still the same headache of having to set up oil to fuel the trains. It's, uh, it's about the same amount. Well, it, to get a bit more efficiency, it's like one extra step two extra steps. Um, but this is fine. Can we get our landfill? We're looking for 2k. We've got zero. We've got... That's a request stack threshold. Oh, this is a provide threshold. Here we go. Provide stack threshold 40 short or long trains. Actually, no, short trains only to pick up landfill. Uh, that's not lined up perfectly, but I think it'll work regardless. So, we've got 40 sacks of landfill. Should probably allow this to fill up entirely. But uh, yeah, we've definitely got 40 stacks of landfill here. Provide stack threshold 40, train length 3. Drop off station, train length uh, 3 to 4. Request stack threshold 40. Uh, 2000 is. 20 stacks. Well, there's your problem. Did it already schedule it? Yep. That was fast. Bulk rail lo loader separate mod. Yes, indeed. Are those train loaders in K2 or SE? It is its own mod. It is called uh, Bulk Rail Loader. Yu Jinha. Welcome, welcome. Efficiency is everything, though. I mean, it's just how long the trains will run before our oil expires, which is going to take forever. 10 million crude oil right here. Okay. Let's grab some more cliff explosives. There's our landfill, and I believe we'll still have about 10 stacks left. Is there anything else we should be taking? We're already taking a few chem plants. A few more couldn't hurt. Oh, we're not taking the stuff we need for that build. Uh, we need a bunch of electrolyzers. Uh, over a hundred. And we need, like, 70-something chemical plants, 72. We won't need anywhere near as many atmospheric condensers this time, actually. So let's calm down on that. We'll just ask for one stack. And a bunch of chemical plants and electrolytes. 
electrolyzers. And we'll see if we have any room after that. I stacked to 25, so maybe. Undead Hunter, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess oil planets actually have a theoretical use then? Yeah, it does run out in K2. So oil core fragments actually sort of matter. Um, that said, it's it's still a lot of crude oil lying around. Uh, let's make that 125. So we get an even stack. Uh, and that's gonna leave, like, three stacks empty, it looks like. We could bring a few more signals to make it easier. Where's our cliffies? Here we go. Oh, 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 I want to bring, let's see, four vehicle roboports. Uh, one, two, let's see, two, four, six, seven personal roboports I'm probably already carrying. And a single uh, energy absorber. I think we have those lying around. Energy Absorber, fantastic. Uh, and then we need a Tesla Tower. I think I can just handcraft that anyway. It's just the one. Yeah, that'll be fine. That's for our construction train that we'll leave behind so we can fix things remotely. Uh, and it looks like we're actually full, which probably means we overdid it and something else wants to be put in here. Nope, we actually filled it up perfectly. Cool. All right, so our target is called Verb Team. And, oh, I know what I want to bring that I often forget. Uh, more construction bots. And Roboports. I did my fastest Factorio finish to date, only seven hours. Nice. Was it a mod setting or debug option to show stack size on hover? Uh, it's a mod, and you can do it with debug. Uh, so you can see here... Um, I don't think you can see the name of the mod. Oh, here it is, yeah. Stack size tooltip. Um, but also, if you use debug, uh, there's a setting somewhere. You can see it below the debug um, stuff, item stack size. Thanks, you're welcome. I'm not still requesting that steel plate, am I? Alright, we're not going to need laser turrets. We're not going to need destroy capsules. Um, I'm not fussed about the wind turbines. There's only going to be 50. Maybe I should manufacture them when we get there. Uh, I don't need random heat exchangers. Some beacons might help, I don't know. Probably going to be short on inserters sooner or later. Definitely want to take roboports because we need too damn many of them to cover the crashed cargo rockets. And I want some construction bots as well. Uh, I don't mind. I don't mind only taking a stack of Logibots, though. 
Just don't crash the rockets? Yeah, you can do that. By not using rockets. Uh, I think this is it. Let's-a go. Verb T, general vicinity, no other choice. Launch trigger, manual. We launch. And away we go. Meanwhile, heavy bearing is only 23% done. That's a bit worse than I was expecting. Turn off RoboBot. Oh! I, it was already turned off. God damn it. Um, let me just have a look at science back here real quick. So we're missing probably production... Uh, sorry, material 2. Why is material 2 this slow? Bonk? It's looking for significant data, always. Significant data is always looking for insights. Insights are always slow. Um, we're missing visible. We're missing beryllium plate. Uh oh. Uh, we ran out of beryllium plate. That doesn't seem good for astro science. And we need astroscience for our copious um, astroscience pack ones that we're going to need. So despite this being just minimal spaghetti, we're actually materially bottlenecked still. Um, beryllium we are getting from Exorion. Exorion is missing... I was going to say cargo rocket sections. What the hell is this? Really? The automatic uh, filtered slots like that didn't get automatically removed. But it seems like barrel... Barrel CF back on Hagen is actually full still. Oh. Okay, the train is getting stuff. It's imbalanced. Okay. Um, that would have just slowed it down a bit. Not that much, I imagine. It takes a lot of core fragments to send up to get beryllium plate, though. Aren't we sending beryllium as ingots? Um, let's see. Beryllium... I don't think we've even requested it. Yeah, I don't I don't see any requests for beryllium. I guess I just did a one-off, manually took up some beryllium. Okay. That doesn't quite explain why material science is slow so slow. Rigidity data needs iridium. Also, I think the cosmic water output is... F well, it would help if it went somewhere. That would be a good start. Um, how am I gonna get this out? Like this, perhaps? And I'm guessing we actually do have the girders. Yeah, we do. Okay, that's material science in motion again, I guess. Um, 
for the tier 2 catalogs. We've still, we're still waiting on SIG data though, we had three more catalogs before that was going to be an issue. Where are we getting... here it is. Material catalog 1 is what goes into the SIG data. So yeah, it just needs a lot of time. Maybe I'll have to do something else to speed it up. Uh, beryllium, though. Uh, I think I want to request the ingots. They stack much bigger than the others. So maybe just 5k? Even less than that? I don't know. We've got more than enough resources that we don't actually have to request 500 stacks of anything to get it up here. Uh, let's add a standard lazy mole thing to make the plate. And last but not least, I might want to prioritize... No, I can't prioritize beryllium ingots over plate, because plate is going into uh, all of our cargo rocket sections, which are actually saturated. Wow, that's cool. Um, that's, that's a pleasant surprise. Cargo rocket sections packed are completely saturated. Um... So once beryllium plate catches up a bit more, I guess we actually will start exporting ingots. Might help to increase the throughput of barrel though. Which it looks like this train stop being a bit messed up was more important than I thought. Are we bottlenecked on barrel core fragment processing? 9.6 per second. I think that's our only our only one. And we have let's check. Drills, entities, or uh no, we're only just bottlenecked on the processing. Assuming these drills never stop, which they should slow down a bit at night. So we don't really need to shift that unless we're gonna unless we're gonna add a lot of coal mining drills. Um, which I don't feel like doing right now. But yeah. Back to the outpost. Been stuck at twenty three for over an hour, really? It's probably got something to do with the way I set up uh, significant data to be able to go to any of the sciences by requester. Oh, hang on, we've got four right here. Pick up nine. Okay, never mind. That just happened. I think probably all the SIG data is going to one of the sciences. Even though we're only requesting one at a time. Let's see, how much do we have? We've got 200 energy science pack ones. And we're outputting these uncon- uh oh. We've actually got 636 energy science pack one. A thousand utility... I don't think... Well, these don't need SIG data, so it's irrelevant. Uh, yeah, I think Energy 1 has been stealing them all. Uh, let's turn that off. Energy 1. For now, just keep it below 200. And 
and that way we'll stop stealing all of the SIG data. Um, do we have a similar limit here? We do, we do, and we do not. Let's, as much as I want nothing but Material 2 at the moment, let's put a limiter on it right now. Okay. Maybe I should actually not use the recipe that uses beryllium plate here. Is that the only thing where we need beryllium? To get our... Astro? I think it is. Yeah, I think I'll change it. It'll eat up a lot more resources. But zero beryllium. We've got plenty of steel. And it's steel plate. I could do an auto crafter. Um, not an auto crafter. I could do a, a crafting combinator to change it when we do have beryllium plate. Do I have one lying around? I do. Okay. Um, how about cider combinator on two? Crafting Combinator... I guess I'll need... an active provider near this thing. Overflow chest left. And we're gonna say... if... Beryllium Plate... Greater than zero, output, recipe, blank observation frame with beryllium plate, and else, uh, output just the regular blank observation frame recipe. Uh, empty insert his hands, yes, don't discard fluids. Uh, don't discard anything. That seems fine. So when we do have Brilliant Plate, uh, we'll use the more efficient recipe. A mic lab, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Do you still have your Bider friend uh, back on Nalvis? I believe so. Don't see why not. Philip B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bider friendo, yep, is at the end of the main bus. Doing his exercise. Good boy. I think he heard me. Alright. Strong legs, indeed. Let's get some Robopot and some Solar. Where be the Solar? Wait, no, don't use construction bots, they're gonna... they're gonna go crazy. Not just yet. some storage chests. So long as he's safe, indeed. Getting ready for space, indeed. It's gonna be an epic astro- uh, I always said astroneer. Astronaut. Alright, construction box, do your thing. Fantastic. They should automatically build the solar out a bit as well. And 
And meanwhile, let's check in on orbital science. Astro science is in motion. Beautiful. Which means we'll be getting more SIG data, which means material science will go faster because we are stealing SIG data from all of the other sciences uh, whenever we can. Cool. So we've stopped spending SIG data on energy science for now. So we've, we've, we've gotten rid of this drain, and we've got uh, SIG data coming from Astro as well. So material, should, uh, material 2 should go a lot faster now. All the bots in motion is a bit of a hint, I think. Okay. Um, I need to decide where to build. I think probably down here where there's going to be the least need for landfill. Uh, on the other hand, the closer we build to the center, the more accessible all the core fragments are. How big are our rail blocks? Not as big as I thought compared to the planet. Alright. Let's get our... Uh, Mole, our outpost mole blueprint down. I think here is the obvious spot. And I might just... Well, you know what? I'm going to wait until... I'm going to wait until the bots have finished doing their thing. Before I give them build orders over here. Where's the crashed ship? There it is. And then... Those trees look kind of different. Why are there... Oh no. Oh no, these are the trees that don't count as trees. We have to pick them up like buildings. Oh no. Gonna have to get rid of all of these before I put the blueprint down again. What? <laughs> Indeed. Uh, we're gonna need some landfill here. We'll grab some of that. What causes that to happen? I have no idea. Not even one. And that's already the end of my landfill. What mod are they tied to? Blueprint trees. That's probably it. Wait, I think every tree is going to be tied to blueprint trees. Let's let's check. Back on Nalvis. Uh, the trees around here, for example. Base mod alien biomes combat. No, I think I think it's blueprint trees' fault. Even though most trees, it doesn't cause a problem. The buildings you can't mark, like the damn crashed rocket bits you start with, yeah. Welp. What am I going to do... Oh no. How am I going to remove them remotely? Attack them with a Spidertron. Vrakfall. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And the GMO as well. Someone reported the bug and it's not fixed. Unfortunate. Uh, I don't update every day, so the fact that it's not working here doesn't mean it's not fixed. Apparently uninstalling the mod removes the trees completely. 
Hmm. Um, do we not have enough electric? The bots haven't built any of the solar panels yet. Bruh. Well, there's why you're not getting much uh, energy. Also, I kind of forgot to bring some nuclear power. A little bit. I think it's probably better if we do some... Uh, what's it called? Biomethanol? It'll be a little bit of a pain to set up, but... Knowing that it's just never going to stop working suits me just fine. How much power are we getting out of these? 36 kilowatts maximum. Oh no. We really would be better off with, um, wind turbines here. What issue are you having? Uh, these, uh, certain types of tree don't behave like trees, they behave like buildings, except we can't deconstruct them. So I have to go over and pick them up like, uh, like they were a building. Yikes, indeed. Yeah, this, this electricity is a problem. I just got so used to the standard operating procedure that I didn't even think about the energy. Uh, it might be worth, like, first thing we do, trying to make some... some power plants. I need, first of all, 21 greenhouses. For that, I need glass. I don't think I brought glass. Ugh. Should we send another rocket? Might be a good idea. Okay, we are actually getting some electricity into our uh, into our RoboPort now. Let's get some more panels down. It's just going to take a lot more than usual to get this whole thing started properly. And we'll switch over to biomethanol, I think. Uh, I think this is only like the second planet that we've landed on that isn't waterless as well, so we couldn't have done this elsewhere. Could you guys calm down a minute? No nuke scorch? Yeah, I don't like the nuke scorches. Uh, logistic box. There we go. Why are... Oh, I see. All of the bots have fled this robot network. And come to me. Because I'm the only other robot network. Bruh. Because it ran out of energy. Battery is low? Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. Yeah, it would help if the bots hadn't fled this robot network right here. Without my noticing. Okay. Okay. 
Looks like we've got enough solar to make this work now. Do I have any clippies? Not on me. Warita, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Okay, let's start on building up here. Oh, good. These types of trees are also. The kind that we have to pick up manually. Fantastic. A wind turbine's part of SE. Yes. Uh, this they're part of K two, I believe, rather. All right. What's chewing all this power, Robo Does that mean? Put you over here. Maybe it's worth disabling that mod if you can't do remote ops. I'll, I'll have to think about it. I really will. I haven't even used it yet in this save. I got some blueprints uh, that I made ages ago um, to make our rail blocks a bit prettier with... Uh, with trees where the stone is going to be. But if I don't make some pollution scrubbers, I think the trees will probably just die. That's actually quite a bit of this built already. Um, I think we're going to have to manufacture some landfill. Yeah, we're already 40% We've already used up 40% of the landfill we brought. Um, it's really just going to have to be something local. Might even make it copper. Oh, there's stone. 716k. That seems good. Oh, sand plus water is a lot more efficient. But yeah, let's just fill this out. See if we can at least get this uh, roundabout done. I think we might not. We're down to a stack and a half. Let's grab that blueprint again. I thought I had more roboports up here. Oh, I do. Oh, they're all in my inventory, I guess? At least we landed nice and close. Maybe it's worth disabling. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Okay. I, I really should have brought wind turbines instead of solar panels this time. Can you update SEK2 blueprint book? Uh, I guess. I didn't. I, I updated it on the Discord not that long ago, actually. Like a week or two. Um, let's see. So I, I want to mine this stone and make landfill. Where's the nearest bit of water? Where's the nearest bit of water we can actually use instead of a very irritating little piece of 
construction. Where the heck is that pump? There we go. We go over there. Over there. That's about it. Okay. Pump. Steel underground pipe. Uh, we need miners, and we need pulverizers. No, not characters in the way. Oh, we need sand, and we need uh landfill. will do for the moment. If you like the No Scorch mod, you might like the cheap... Oh, Creep Cleaner. Well, I can just delete Creep. But, yeah, maybe. There we go. Why do we have no power? Don't tell me I'm carrying all of the big poles. No, there's actually no power. Because the roboports have gone ham again. There is a creep virus? What? Vlad, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I just said, yeah, maybe, Brack. Um, okay, so... I want to make some greenhouses. We're going to need glass for that. Glass is just smelted sand. Uh, I do have some furnaces handy. How about over here? And... There we go. Now can we get some electricity, please? Yes, we can. The sun just started coming up. Uh, the roboports are looking very, very thirsty, though. And we need more landfill already. At least the substation's got placed. It removes it slowly on top of that, uh, not to not make it weird. The sand needs a way into the assembler. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking the uh, pulverizer could behave the same way as the miners. But that's not how that works. Not even if we point it this way. There we go. Now, if only we had some electricity. Um, damn, those robocalls are thirsty. Maybe I should just delete a couple of them. Oh, there's robocalls everywhere that are sucking up energy. That's going to take a minute. Um, I should probably just put down more solar panels. I do have a little landfill here. How long is the day on this planet? 11.2 minutes. That's actually relatively long. So it's just the fact that
there's way too many robopods for these super weak uh, solar panels right now. Cliff explosives. Could you not actually... There we go. Can't reach. Fantastic. Uh, I guess I'll use my meager remaining landfill to expand our power. Where did my clippies go? Over here. Let's just grab this blueprint. Alright, cool. If the bots are moving, things are getting less bad. I thought you made some better solar panels. Uh, I did. I actually forgot about those. But we haven't been manufacturing them for that long. Um, we've actually got... Uh, we've got one chest full of flat solar panels, but I wouldn't waste them on this planet regardless. It's so far from the sun. We're just going to use the solar panels here to get started, that's all. And once we get a bit more momentum, uh, we'll build some... Well, first of all, we're going to manufacture some landfill. Uh, and we're going to build some greenhouses, and gas power stations, and fuel refineries. Uh, and we're going to make, just like we have on Hagen, uh, biomethanol power. Which ultimately costs nothing except for water. Are those substations different from normal ones? I was just one uh, working on a solar farm and I noticed mine don't line up as well. Uh, K2 might give them a bigger radius, I'm not sure. But other than that, it's lighted substations with the, uh, the mod that gives us lighted power poles. But I didn't go out of my way to make them have more reach than normal. Okay. Whoops, whoops, and furthermore, whoops. Dropped all my accumulators already. Okay. So we're at like one-fifth of the power that we would need to charge all of these roboports at full speed. And we've got like ten roboports trying to charge. Uh, but they're actually like 40% done now. And now the bots are doing things. And power's going to crash again pretty soon. Okay. It looks like daytime, where's the power? The power is only 36.6 kilowatts per solar panel. Because I completely forgot to take that into consideration. So we're just going to have a slightly slower start than usual. But um, once we get a really basic 
Honestly, I should have enough power already, but the bots keep... The bots and the robopods, more importantly, keep sucking up a lot of it. Uh, with the ludicrous amount of battery charge on a robopod and ludicrous energy costs of robots. Uh, really, at the moment, I just want to run this um, landfill and glass machine. Need the hand crank mod? Uh, but yeah, I just need some... Uh, I think I already saw enough glass to start making these. Let's grab some iron ingots and copper ingots and I need wood and glass. Automation core is just iron and copper, right? Let's go grab that glass. Cool, I can make one whole greenhouse out of this. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Imagine charging every individual bot with a hand crank. Oh no. I would prefer not to. Uh, you know what I could do is put efficiency modules in everything. I know I only need one. Actually, I was going to say it's only one click this way, but if I'd realized literally just one efficiency three, I could have just pressed X on each of these machines. Uh, but the RoboPorts are 99.9% of the power consumption right now. Oh, there's also the umbrella. Maybe we could put that off a little bit. Might be a good idea. Wish I'd brought those 50 wind turbines. That would have been good. Um, I could handcraft 50 of them right now. It's just iron and copper. Alternatively, I could set up a production chain to make some. Turbines need gears, copper cable, beam, plate. Gears, copper, wait, let's put plate here. Iron plate. Looks like steel plate. Uh, iron beam. And copper cable. And copper plate. Alright. Some requester chests. as well. That actually needs ingots. And that needs power. And if we ever get our roboports fully charged, how are these ones like 99% and these other ones are like 20%? Max consumption, 4 megawatts each. Bruh. Hopefully only one more day and we can start spamming some wind turbines. Well, it's technically moving. We should still have some solar panels, right? Um, do we have any landfill yet? Like, more than seven? We have four. That's a little discouraging. Not gonna lie.
We've got an inserter from gears to wind turbines. Thank you. Oh, that's already in motion. Just put those there for now. Actually make it a passive. Should be some bots coming to pick those up already. And let's use our last little bit of landfill over here. Make this whole arrangement a little bit less bad. We are a whopping 40%... 47% along with heavy bearing. Uh, that It's going to take 10 times as long, at least, to do space elevator as well. Although we're probably saving up some blue science packs in the meantime. Only six so far. <laughs> At least the next research will get done pretty much instantly. What are we out of now? Light oil? Really? Really, really. Light oil. You're joking. Light oil. There's no light oil here. There's plenty here. There's no barrels. Oh, did I stop requesting steel because I brought ingots instead? That was slightly less intelligent. Um, you know what I can do though, because the construction train is in range. Is Just put a requester for steel ingots over here. Can we not... can we not reach? Rather than having trains bring steel plate as well. There we go. That should get some light oil coming back to space. Not to mention every other fluid. Hey, Captain True. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's 13 wind turbines. Maybe I should just replace the solar panels. Wait, what? I mean, they're just going to sit around doing nothing if I don't use the solar panels, actually. But yeah, this is 20 kilojoule, uh, 20 watts continuously, kilowatts, as opposed to 36 during the day. Um, how long is the night time? Oh, wow. It's like a five minute night time. That's not helping. Alright, we got more landfill, a little bit, quite a bit more glass. Probably stop that at a thousand. We have green electricity. Fantastic. It's about time. Okay, uh, I believe I brought some big containers. Where are they? I don't see them. 
in the logistic network. Nope, I did not bring the big containers. But I brought plenty of steel. So it shouldn't be a problem. We're going to need a few... Well, actually, just one. Uh, one buffer warehouse, one requester warehouse. Furnaces go here. I should turn my roboport on. That might have saved some energy from the main network. I think we need some landfill here. Can't even see the water. Oh, there it is. Splash, splash. Okay, what were we doing? We need some some steel or something. Concrete. Oh no. Uh, we're gonna have to make concrete here. That's one of those ones that I always forget. Alright, give me a offshore pump. Concrete. We're going to need sand, stone brick, iron stick. Iron stick. And it's pretty much just solid in, solid out, apart from the water. Why are the bots not taking this? There we go. Port range. Watch the. I was going to say watch the accumulators cry, but apparently we can charge one robot port casually at this point. Uh, we need stone brick and sand to find their way. Oh, this can't do stone brick, can it? Doesn't do kiln recipes. So, give me that stone. And then... Furnace. Wait, I could make an electric furnace. Let's do that. I'm kind of liking the carrying around of ingots. For handcrafting. That's not too slow for 10 steel plate. Alright, electric furnace, stone brick. I need some providers. I need some power. I need some. Roboport. And that should all be in the same robot network now. There's our stone brick for our concrete. Uh, what about sand? Still on 47% for heavy bearing. What the hell is happening here? Needs material science 1. Is it all going here instead? 
think it might be. Wait a sec. That's a requester. Oh, we just have to do this. That's going to give us a burst of material too. I think. Not sure exactly how much. We have fit 33 significant data in the robot network right now. So yeah, we really are going to get uh, probably the whole heavy bearing research done quite soon. Nice. Okay, so that leaves... I was going to fix sand over here, put it in the robot network. Uh, where are we getting sand from? Make it at least 200. Cool. I think we could start manufacturing some signals. And we got concrete. Fantastic. I believe I needed 100 concrete to make warehouse. should have the bots bringing it to me. I do. Let's turn that back on. How many of these do we have? Quite a few wind turbines now. Uh, let's not go overboard, I guess. Let's make a blueprint. Of course, there would be water in the way. Is there anywhere without water in the way? Wind turbine? And blueprint. Same stats as this one, 20 and 1. Let's just put that... Oh, that should be snap to grid relative. Put that next to this one. And I should go pick up some landfill. Or rather, get the bots to bring it to me. What the... There we go. On the way is zero because my inventory is too full. On the way 108, that's a bit better. Alright, do I have what I need to craft this? I do not. I need more glass. Should probably be requesting glass. Or maybe I shouldn't be focusing on this. So, wow, that's a cool graph. I love the way the accumulators just mirror the roboports here. Neat. Alright, 
We got a concrete, fantastic. We need a request a chest, a big one. Let's get some landfill in here. Otherwise the OCD will drive me crazy. Fantastic. And we should probably set things up so that um, it'll automate us, our greenhouses. And we'll come back to that build when we've got the materials. Uh, also, I should probably put a little iron plate into the robot network. Same goes for copper plate. Just catching up, is this a new planet? Uh, yes it is. It is Verbti, which is quite close to Hagen. Uh, and it's our best candidate for Holmanite. Or the core fragments. That's more the pace I was expecting with heavy bearing. That's looking a lot better. Okay. Uh, and then... We make some greenhouses. We're gonna need some ores. It's actually copper plate. This one. Uh, and we'd have to put gears into the network. Might help if I made some chests. There we go. So wood, glass, beam, automation core. Let's make some room here and... Just limit these using the robot network. And we take the beams. We also need glass and wood. Actually, why don't I just do... like this. Also, we got some research done. That's nice. Do you get wood from the cursed trees on this planet? Yeah, we do. And as expected, Aeroframe Pole is just flying by. some fill over here. Seems good. Doop doop and we are researching Space Elevator. Very exciting, but it's going to be at least seven minutes. We need a thousand research to knock this thing off. Oh, two thousand. Ouch. Oof. Owie. Damn, it's zooming? Yeah, we already had the, uh... Uh, the astro science for that. Okay, uh, we're gonna need a handful of fuel refineries. 
Actually, no, don't we need a lot of fuel refineries for this build? We need 14 fuel refineries and 14 gas power stations for each, uh, for each one. Also, I'm kind of wishing I brought more modules now, because the efficiency modules were just supposed to be for the, um, uh, the rocket fuel build, but now we're going to need extra. Going to use LTN for the elevator, or sticking with the original plan? Um, we'll see. Um, I think I'll jump into another save to properly test the idea that I have with editor extensions. You can't use LTN to allow... Uh, you can't use LTN with the elevator. I don't think SE is updated to allow it. Unless they changed that. I heard talk of a patch or something. Uh, this thing needs wood. And unfortunately, I can't get the bots to gather the wood. Uh, what we can do, though, is... Reduce the wood with this. If I could fit it somewhere. Does water not... Oh, here we go. Now the water should go through. Fantastic. Uh, another passive provider. This is very slow, though. We'll get it to accelerate. Oh, we've already got a handful of these. Okay, then. With a little combinator interface and a couple of LTN reading stations. I think SE already supports it since it moves the train, but couldn't say for sure. Well, the thing is, LTN doesn't schedule stops between surfaces. It's not that a train scheduled by LTN couldn't go through the space elevator, it's that LTN doesn't know what surfaces are connected at least by default. Alright, so that's our 0. 0.66 wood per second. Amazing. Uh, I believe we need... We only need 20 wood for each greenhouse. We need 21 greenhouses uh, for 14 gas power stations. And each of those give us, like, I think it's 4.5... Uh, megawatts of power. So... It'll be a bit slow to get started, but it's fine. We'll know for sure once someone actually tries it, indeed. Who could that be? Alright. Space elevator still says 0%. What are we missing? Are we missing anything? Astro 1, Energy 1, Material Science Pack 2. Other than the easy stuff. It's Astro. Huh. I wonder how long that state of affairs will remain. Visible data was slow before as well. What's going on? Oh, we're st we still don't have light oil? What? We have 90 barrels of light oil. 
Are we actually bottlenecked on filling the oil barrels? I think we might be. Cool, so that's fixed now. Get rid of this one. No barrels to fill. It's not keeping up. Yeah, you're right. It's got a lot of catching up to do. Normally this would be enough, I think. Uh, I guess I could always... Add another one. And what, you don't have a long arm inserter? Here comes train. Fantastic. Okay, that's gonna keep up just fine. So that's just doubled how quickly we can barrel things here. Alright, leave that to its own devices. We've actually got 11 greenhouses already, so I'm not overly concerned about how long that's going to take. What mod is construction trains? It actually comes with K2, but there's a separate mod if you don't want K2 called uh, Vehicle Equipment Grid. Um, but yeah, just being able to put... Uh, stuff into the vehicles as if it was power armor uh, comes with K2. And I think K2 includes the vehicle robopods, which I meant to craft before I came here. Uh, I needed four of them. Don't tell me we don't have batteries. Oh no. Our construction train is going to have a bit of a short range on this planet. But this is the planet where construction train isn't going to be able to remove trees either. So we're just going to try and get it all correct before we leave in the first place. Alright, so what are we doing? We should have that blueprint somewhere... Um, where did I put it? Oh, here we go. 60 megawatt biomethanol plant. Uh, this is where I was going to put the rail block for the liquid rocket fuel. Let's see if we can't plan out a bit first. So probably like here. Maybe a couple of them, like that. Which means down here should be fine for the biomethanol plants. Let's do our first one here. And we'll see what we can fit. Can you add a artillery wagon to the train for tree removal? <laughs> I guess we could. Um, I'm going to need a bunch of yellow belt, unless I want to waste a lot of faster belt for this. It's really not that expensive in terms of iron. Except we need yet another production step. Uh, and 
limit this to something. Why don't we have iron plate? We do, it's just having too much asked of it at this point. Now you're thinking with portals, <laughs> indeed. Uh, I'll just limit that to like five stacks. I could, of course, handcraft all the belts, but that would be a bit much, I think. Pity I don't have any speed modules on me. I'm used to being able to handcraft a few. How many signals do we have? Enough. It'll stop asking for iron in a minute. Okay. Oh, we don't have key wheels. Should have just done this. There we go. was actually pretty quick. How much belt is here? 200. Let's just limit this to a couple of stacks. So how about three, because I need to make some undergrounds as well. Uh, we need like 13 splitters, no undergrounds, 35 loaders. Because I, I used loaders because they don't cost any power. And this thing has a whole negative feedback loop if power gets bad. We also need uh, gas power stations, which are a bit of a pain. Mostly because we need multi-cylinder engines. The fuel refineries are pretty easy to handcraft. Let's make some multi-cylinders. And for that, this is actually all we need. Fair enough. We'll need those for trains as well. Um, my handcrafting queue is a bit busy right now. Uh, we'll just limit that to like 200. Oh, I have a bunch of multis here. Because we sent them. Nice. Two, one, two, three, four. Um, and that should be everything. Perhaps. Electric boiler, atmospheric condenser. Electric boiler. Uh, I know we've got a few spare atmo condensers. And could we perhaps uh, remove the requests? Or the modules that I don't have. Oh. Let's go grab some belt and five more. These, if we've got them, we do. Fantastic. Give it all one efficiency module each. 
just to get it to minimum power consumption. Gonna have to wait for the handcrafting for all this other stuff. Also gonna need a offshore pump. Probably right about here. Uh, Junior, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You could split the power grid and make the biofuel plant run on wind. That way there'll be no death spiral. This is true. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Love that cap jam emote. Alright, we'll come back when we've done more of our handcrafting. Uh, I might expand this out this way. I think I'll expand it vertically. Let's bring big balls over here. It's uh, quite a bit of handcrafting still. Oh, I already used all the multi-cylinders. One, two... Let's grab some more. There's 270 something multi cylinder engines lying around here. Or are they all in this chest? Nope. I do not see them. Am I really going to have to resort to. Here it is. I was going to say, am I going to have to use factory search for this little thing? 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Cool. And how's our gloves and landfill and stone brick? Looking good. Uh, I don't think I will stop the landfill. What are we doing today? We are very slowly researching Space Elevator, which has stopped because uh, barreling of liquids over here can't keep up. Or couldn't keep up before, I sped it up. Um, but yeah, we actually through one mistake or another, ran out of light oil up here to make uh, infrared, or well, any kind of blank observation frames, actually. So we're waiting on another rocket for that. Um, but yeah, we've got all the spaghetti set up to eventually give a space elevator. And once we get one of those set up, we can really get started. Um, building out our main base with no more rockets going up to, uh, going up to orbit. Did we already get all the belt? Not quite. We're gonna need a little bit of this as well. More pipe to ground even. 60 pipe to ground. Okay, that's more than I thought. I don't want to use the steel ones for this. Oh, I just realized my handcrafting queue. Uh, it's going to 
take a while. There's another requester. Didn't I have something to drop off up here? There it is. Oh. What resource does, do you want from this planet? Uh, Holmium core fragments. We've already got Holmanite on Hagen, but I don't want to have to keep planting uh, mining outposts until the end of time. Also, if we get core fragments as well, the finite mines will last longer. We won't have to replace them as often. Okay. We're sort of, kind of, not really almost done handcrafting this stuff. If I'd realized it would take this long, I would have set up this uh, manufacturing beforehand. It's really just the uh, gas power stations. I can handcraft the fuel refineries, that's no issue. I wish there was a way to move things on the handcrafting queue. Yeah, I really strongly agree. Just just a just a modifier or even a default to push something to the front of the handcraft uh, handcrafting queue would be a godsend. Like I could cancel all this stuff and then requeue it in a different order, but then everything that's been reserved uh, that isn't taking up space in my inventory right now um, is going to explode onto the floor. Underground pipe. Um, this one... Cool. Funny how the engineer has a theoretically infinite carry weight so long as they're crafting it, indeed. Alright, let's put these back here. And then... Just seven more of these to go, and then the rest is pretty quick. Nope, I lied. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine to go. Okay, how's everything else going? Do we get rocket anytime soon? We did get rocket in the recent past. Fantastic. And we get Atmo Insights. We get Sig Data. Oh no, we need beryllium plate. Oh no. Um, as much as I was very pleasantly surprised to find all of our cargo rocket sections totally saturated, um, it's still going to take a while, I think, for beryllium plate to get to the point where... We're going to be exporting the ingots to orbit with the way we've got this set up. Had a look at crafting priority mod? I have not. Maybe I should... Mm, I thought about this earlier as well. Maybe I should set it up so that we get ingots into the rail block. As well as plates, like simultaneously. But if I do that, we might fall behind on the cargo rocket sections. 
which is going to bottleneck a lot of really important stuff. So, I don't know. I really don't know. Do you not have white beacons yet? We do not. Alright, let's go park some of this stuff. I thought I ran a decon, sorry, a module planner over this to get rid of these. Almost done though. Should probably have put the water in beforehand. It's a fine. Oh, what did I just click? I don't even know what I cancelled there. Let's just do five of each of these. Get a little bit ahead of it. Okay. How's our Vulcanite doing? Hard to say. Not the worst, I imagine. Let's check the graph. Uh, the production graph. Vulcanite loft. Probably pretty good, actually, compared to, like, the last stream. Yeah, that's looking pretty consistent. Nice. Consumption is very consistent. With the blocks, weirdly enough. But yeah, uh, if we started spamming prod modules, Vulcanite's actually doing pretty well. Here comes our boiler. That's a lot of copper plate. Just started a SEK2 run. The start is just like Crest 2, obviously. Yeah, it's kind of slow. You could YOLO a second rail block that prioritizes ingots. Um, well, we're bottlenecking on the actual beryllium regardless. Uh, on the processing. I already checked. We're... Technically, theoretically, we could just barely bottleneck on processing here. Uh, we can produce, like, I think 10 barrel core fragments per second if the cargo rockets keep up with no cargo rocket section or fuel issues. Uh, and that would be if cargo rockets didn't lose any cargo. I'll just double check as well. We can make 10.13 barrel per second, and then consume 12.8 barrel per second. So our bottlenecks are basically in the right places. Check up to the beryllium rails, a meteor hit, or maybe a rocket crash. Well, that's our barrel right there. It's, uh, it's doing okay. It is saturating, uh, I think. It's just taking a while. Because the, uh, the cargo rocket sections are totally saturated. Since we start, uh, started using the beryllium plate. We just need, like, a few more train loads of plate over here, and we'll start exporting the ingots instead. And I don't really want to mess with that, because I really don't want the cargo rocket sections to stop. 
Okay. There it is. That is 4.5 megawatts times 14. Uh, 63 megawatts. Well, more like 60 after we pay the power costs of these things. I think you are missing a green wire on the sand bulk rail on barrel production. Uh, oh, down here. Sand bulk rail. Uh, true. It's not causing any problems because it's only a pickup. It has to be full before it would do anything. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so I guess we'll leave that as is. Can we see some wood out of this yet? Not even. It's 50%. Currently, our max power is like 23 megawatts, so this is going to multiply it by about 4. I didn't realize just how much stronger this would be. Uh, and I would like to immediately make another one, please. Down here, perhaps? Let's go place those uh, questers and providers. Oh wait, I got this backward. should be all it takes. What's wrong with you? Don't tell me we've gone through our iron ingots. Oh no. That was faster than expected. That was a lot faster than expected. Do we have any iron on the ground? We've got 3.5k over here. Um, you know what? Make sure you use prod modules for these two. Okay. Max consumption 2.5 megawatt. Uh, max consumption normal. And we'll bring iron ore back over here. Any more iron patches that are more than 2.5k? What's the plan? Uh, we're making an outpost or two while we wait for our slow signs. To give us space elevators. Uh, I don't see any iron. Let's do a factory search. 2.5k, 1.8, 361. Okay, this is 36k over here. That's kind of far away. Um, that's kind of really far away. Oof, owie. All right. Tell you what, where's the biggest... I see a 25k, 42k, 85. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Uh, I guess that'll be it. 
85k way up here in the top right corner of the planet. Hmm, that might be too far. 36k. Uh, I think that's as good as it gets. Proximity combined with volume. At this point, Hagen seems closer. <laughs> For the iron? Yeah. I might just send some more at this rate. Uh, I thought by sending ingots, the iron would go a lot further. But I guess not. Alright, let's get some drills down here. We need to run power all the way down here. Oof, owie. I'll just come over here and pick some up periodically, I guess. No lazy mine? This is being lazy for the moment. I need to set up trains and stuff if a lazy mine is going to work. How dare you. Okay. Let's get some power poles. Drag them back to base. Wherever that may be. Can't even see it on the minimap. Wait, where am I? Okay. Need to go left a little bit. There's our power plant. Alright. We don't have power because it didn't put down a power pole here. Breaking the line, indeed. Not sure why it did that. Alright, so this is 16.2 per second. I'll give that a minute. And we'll go pick some up. Shallows don't seem to get the same treatment as water. Maybe. And all of this stuff has stopped because there's no iron. Ouch. Alright, especially, especially here. Alright, what can we build? wood to at least get going. Even though the ratio is correct. Oh, I needed to sneeze, but it didn't happen. do we have here now? Quite a lot. Let's go get some iron. Actually, let's leave a bunch of stuff back here. And we'll bring back as much as we can. This is 
such a small amount of iron on this planet. This is how far we have to go for 35k. Can actually carry it all already. How much have I got? 50 times 40... Almost 50 times 50. Uh, I should probably prod these. Since iron is so precious. Copper is probably going to be just as bad if we have to... That's not as bad. Why is this a filter inserter? Whatever. We smelt. Fantastic. That's going to be agonizingly slow, though. Oh, it's 15 per recipe. That's not as bad as I thought. Also, we've got this now. Alright, I want to get one more of these power plants done, if I can. Um, didn't actually get a request on this. Probably just remove that request. Steel beams. Uh, okay. Steel beam. Steel plate. Get in there. Should be bots on the way. Cool. And that means once we have pipe, uh, we'll get those very annoying to handcraft gas power plants done. First, we need the iron plate. Should probably set this a bit lower. Considering how thirsty it is. I think some more furnaces are in order. Also, it would help if we had this active provider. Give me back some of my steel. said, I think we should have some more iron furnaces. Um, about like this. Akira, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do I not have furnaces? They're in my personal inventory. Wait, do I have no bots? That's why. Let me just reactivate this. I know there's no trains on this planet, but I instinctively felt like I was making a mistake stepping on the rails. There we go. Alright, so that's what? 1.4 iron plate per second? That's a lot slower than I thought. Um, how about some more? While still making the most... ...of our prod modules. Uh, I 
I'm gonna count click that. Fantastic. Not really, I'm at a LAN party at my workplace, but yesterday my PSU blew a capacitor. Ouch. Still don't know if it fried the rest of the machine. I'm sorry to hear that. Good luck. That's all I can say. So we have... 2.1 iron plate per second. Overall, that's actually not that bad. It'll catch up with our needs here eventually. Um, so right now it's a bit of a pain. Let's go see how much of this we can build. Not a whole lot. Um, fuel refineries are short on iron. Okay. I think now's as good a time as any to take a little break. Um, I'll just double check how the... Oh. Just got another rocket. I don't see any barrel though. I didn't expect it. Yeah, science seems to be... It's just beryllium at this point. We just need beryllium to catch up. And that is... It all depends on... I'm pretty sure there's only one place beryllium plate is going, and that's to our cargo rocket sections. Um... Seems to be catching up. Maybe I should just set the request on beryllium plate lower. So... Except it's going to count what's in the buffer chests. So I can't just set it to wait till there's zero beryllium plate. Hmm. So it's what? Like 200 times 1... To... It's only a stack. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So like six stacks plus a train load. Seventeen thousand two hundred. We're barely requesting more than that. So I'm not actually requesting enough to see uh, four of these storage chests filled up. Well, it'll get there. If it takes a really long time, we'll go back to Exorion after this um, after this outpost. And do something to speed up. Oh? Are we actually bottlenecked on... Oh, we actually are bottle bottlenecked on the barrel core fragments. Yeah, so we'll go back there and bring some drills, I guess. Uh, we do have six core mining drills still available. How much power do we have to spare? Uh, not that much. Do we have more solar panels here? I don't think so. No. And it's a waterless planet, I believe. Yeah. So, it's really just spam more solar panels. If we want to increase our barrel throughput. Alternatively, I could mine some barrel on the spot. But, I think the stack size for that is... Not as bad as the others? Let me just double check. 
Uh, let's see. Barrel stacks to 50. It's actually more stack efficient to send this back as barrel. As opposed to some of the other... Some of the other ones. I also never got around to um, setting up raw emesite mining on this planet. Because I didn't take the drills and I forget why else. I have extended electronic insurance for the house. Uh, good luck with that. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, I think I should use one of these cargo rockets to send just barrel back. And we've got... Uh, we've got a processing area that accepts barrel as a drop-off. So we don't even have to change anything. Uh, do we need, like, sulfuric acid to mine barrel? I think it's just, um, iridium and... Rare metals requires chlorine, I think. Iridium requires sulfuric acid, and uranium requires sulfuric acid. I think beryl doesn't need anything fancy. So if I head, that, head back there, make some drills, mine some beryl, send it back in one of these two cargo rockets... Let me just check what we've got here. We've got 76 big mining drills. Um, plenty of rail. Not that much rail. I could probably... Probably, maybe, probably set this up without going there. So we'll maybe do that after the break. Right now, I think I need a few minutes. And some food and drink. And we'll let these machines run for a little while. Alright, let's do some LTN screensaver. Grab the old words on stream. Did I copy this? I think I did. Yeah, we're good. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Nicely done. Back to space exploration. Um, where we have some pipe and stuff. Fantastic. Alright, let's go build. Awesome, Co. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you lose points for writing wrong answers? I don't believe so. Uh, let's see. We need 13 splitters. 14, 14, 35. Underground. Electric boiler. Uh, that's actually a lot of belt stuff we need. Give to me the belt things. And I need 14 of these. Where's my iron? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That way, condenser. I need at least one. Uh, and then we need the million loaders. Actually, cost 15 and a half iron each. Uh, 13 splitters. Uh, yeah, we're still... Oh, this one doesn't actually request iron plate. How much do we have? 96. Well, it could be worse. We do have most of the gas power stations built, though. Alright, this should be more than enough power for a little while. It's not going to be enough when we put all of our uh, core mining drills down. But short of that, it'll help. So I think we need 10 more splitters, 35 loaders, and 5 gas power stations. Okay. What's missing from this picture? Steel? Uh, please don't tell me we're going to run out of steel. No, nope, we've got it. We've got lots of steel. I might just semi-automatically build these, though. Don't want to go overboard. That's a lot of iron plate. What the hell? Gear, beam, and transport belt. Uh, this one doesn't have ingots anymore. I need gears. Here we go. That's hardly any gears. I don't think the long arm inserter eh, it can keep up. Just barely. Maybe not. Hmm. 
Okay. What was I making? Loaders. Probably some splitters. Definitely some splitters. Ten to go. That's one more right click. What does it take to make loaders? Gear, beam, and transport belt. I guess I'll just do that here. But I don't want to automatically make six million of them. power plants for the next one. Fantastic. So that just leaves the belt. Which I think this is everything except the loaders. Nice. I'll put these back so that we don't overbuild them. Oh, I already put things in place to prevent that. Oh, it's actually multi-cylinder engines that we've run out of. Wait, have we? Yes, we have. Okay, then. Have some prods. Since there's no iron plate, that'll do as well. There's actually 15 loaders laying around somewhere. Storage, loader, and 55. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Here we go. And that just leaves eight loaders. It's a dung. Alright, that should be plenty of power for a while. Now, what's next? Still got plenty of... Yeah, we're doing fine on sand, glass, and landfill now. Fantastic. I guess if I can't think of anything else to do, we should put out a depot. Gonna need a bunch of landfill for that. Let's just extend our RoboPort range. And 
fantastic. Alright. If that loud popping could stop every time I think it's over, that'd be good. It's going to be another couple of minutes. Looks like that's the end of our landfill for now. Really is hard to have too much landfill. Okay. While we're waiting for that, let's have a peek at our barrel planet. And see what we can accomplish remotely. We're going to need some drills in our construction ship. Uh, I almost said construction ship. It is a construction train. I would be very impressed if it took off. Let's see how far we can get with this. Probably... I know we don't have that much rail. I could probably make some more, though. Let's go with... Highway... Like this. And then... Is a lazy mine okay? I could probably modify it just a little bit to get full coverage. Might be the easiest way to go about it. And... These two... Probably up here. Good morning, Zayden. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Might be doing well. Okay, that goes there. Turn it around. That goes there. And then rail. Uh, probably just connect it like this. Pretty clean way to do it. Let's remove the extra rail that we don't need yet. Maybe not the big power poles. And we're going to need some signals. Alright, let's bring our train up this way. How's it going? Not too bad, thanks for asking. And I'll just set this to like 10 minutes. I'm gonna move it around. Oh, that's some good range on those RoboPods. So if I just move up here, uh, it should get the rest done. Apparently we're not carrying big electric poles right now. Or bulk rail loaders for that matter. 
for lighted substations or red belt. Let's put in some requests for the train. And a big pole. Substation. Uh, what else? Bulk rail loader. Anything besides that? Red loaders. One constant combinator and apparently some blue belt. Constant combinator. And a bit of blue belt. Need loaders as well. I used the buffer chest in SE the first time after like 3.5k hours of playtime. Ramp up my entire production right now. Nice. Let's bring our train to where it can path back. And back you go. Okay. Meanwhile, we're still waiting on landfill over here. Jeez. I thought we'd saved up a decent amount. How about this then? Where's the bot coming with this inserter? I'm guessing it isn't. I'm probably carrying all of the inserters. Right now. And I was going to say sand has to be greater than something. We'll just go like greater than 10 so it can get to uh, the concrete build. Well, all that really accomplished was a handful of landfill got, got made. I can't prod landfill... I can prod sand, but that's just going to slow things down. Could I fit two of these drills here? I could. There we go. Oh, that actually just got it to max speed the pulverizer. That will certainly help. Still, how much landfill are we waiting for? Uh, tile ghosts? 326? That's gonna be a number of minutes. probably help if it wasn't all going to my personal inventory for now. Alright, let's look at the other planet in that case. Do things in parallel. See if our construction train did not get any fast underneath these. I got 10. That'll be enough. What else is it loading? Power poles. I wish I could have this exact design, except if there's nothing left of something in the robot network. 
it just won't try to load it. I'm sure there's a way to do that. The only way I can think to do it would be to have... Either a lot of decider combinators, or just an extra step in here to say... Uh, it's going to be hard to compare the same type of signal against the um, robot network. Also, we still need a constant combinator. Uh, Alright. I guess I didn't leave an auto-crafter back here. Don't have any crafting combinators. How about... Combinator goes here. There we go. Now the drills, and that's actually everything. Fantastic. Alright, please park yourself over here until inactivity. And we should then have a barrel mine. It'll give us 1.7 million. Not counting productivity bonuses. We are on a new planet today. Indeed we are. Robot Wars. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We got power down here, not quite. There we go. And we do indeed not need any fluid. Uh, what we do need, however, is more red underground. 246 to be precise. Oh, that's going to be such a pain. I do have 300 fast transport belt lying around, so maybe not. On second thought, maybe yes. Okay. Seems like a lot. I run beam. Are we out of request chests? I think we might be. Uh, in that case. Quest a chest. Go. Steel chest, go. while you're at it. Alright, cool. Now then, back to the yellow underground. So that we can make the red underground. And we just need a handful. Like, literally three recipes.
so. Now we're out of yellow belt, I guess. We need single cylinder. We've got some just lying around. Looks like we managed to load everything. Oh, there it is. Fantastic. This is all just iron, basically, right? For the red belts? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, go back up here and hopefully actually finish the build this time. I really should standardize leaving behind an auto crafter. It makes anything out of just iron and copper. Are we are we gonna No? We're not gonna build? There's no bots in here. Bruh. your bots back. Why are there no... Here it is. Construction bot. How did we end up with zero construction bots? Oh, there they are. They must have been... I don't know. The train wasn't full, I don't think. I was going to say trying to come back to the train, but that wasn't working. Alright, this time we have bots. And unless I go and change this, it's going to take a little while to load. Should be almost done. Why are we loading more than 50 regular rail signals? Oh, I actually did overload it. Okay. Try again. You got this construction train. I believe in you. There it is. Alright, so how fast are we getting our barrel? 5.6 per second, so like 10 seconds for a stack. Or 9 seconds. I'm not going to bother changing the name of that. They deconned the crafting, train was full. Oh, okay. Yep. Alright, back to the emptier. And now we're going to mess around with... Getting the core fragments out of here and requesting barrel instead. Stack size 50, so 8k is a couple of train loads. Um, and we'll just do a filter. I think I have a loader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do blue loader from here to here. Do I have an underground? And that's going to be four fragment barrel. And we're just going to push it all into the other cargo rocket. 
Oh, I need to change this one's target. We're going to need a uh, cargo landing pad for barrel. We've got one spare, so I don't have to do anything special right now. Regular barrel goes here. Uh, everything but regular barrel goes down here. This is going to be... Let's check the naming convention. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna call it barrel with the icon. B E R Y L. Fantastic. And barrel. Uh, limit that one to one cargo wagon each. And that should be all it takes. Oh, what was that? Cargo rocket landing. Yeah, because we just build up the first one with barrel core fragments. Cool. So this is going to be target barrel on Hagen, launch trigger, launch on cargo fault. And we should start seeing trains picking up from here not that soon, to be honest. It's, it's about half full. So it's surprisingly well balanced. Okay. Where's our next barrel mine? Ooh, that one's good. It's also 1.7 million. And it's right here. Let's do another one. Uh, I might keep this one simple. By just doing two of these. And... We'll do our rail like this. Hey, how big are your city blocks? They are... Uh... The snap size is 86 by 86. That's from big pole to big pole. Granu uh, granular bit. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. My mousecraft. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Okay. Uh, so, let's get that barrel. Exorian. Um, before I mess around, I might just see what the construction train can build without my changing anything. Park it about here. I think it'll probably be able to get back. And I might want to put some signals here, though it's... I can't believe that one's not in the way, actually. That's a quick train. Uh, I don't think the construction train can get back, actually. Do you not have space issues with that size? Uh, no, not really. I can fit two builds with uh, wide area beacons in there pretty comfortably. Alright, I don't think we can go back with our signaling here. Let's go here for just a split second. Hopefully it doesn't put in... a. So if it stops for zero seconds, it doesn't actually put in barrel core fragments like that. Okay. Uh, 
we're gonna want some chain signal and some chain signal and honestly considering the overall throughput that's probably gonna be enough So once our train is reloaded, which is going to take a moment, uh, I might just add a temp. If I add a temp stop, it's probably going to go there right now, though. I want to add it at the end. It's going to mess up the loading. I'm overdoing it, loading the rail and signals, as if we're still building whole city blocks here. Actually running out of drills. Alright, cool. That's fully loaded. Uh, where's our build? Over here. Yeah. So why don't we go here, wait for inactivity... 15 seconds, and then over here, don't wait at all, and it should be able to drive back home. We should have full coverage on the mine, and it should get built, unless we... No, it will, because the filter wasn't still trying to put in bulk rail loaders. Just double check everything's there. Fantastic. Alright, off you go. And that's going to be another 7.8 barrel core fragments per second. Here goes our first question mark, train load of barrel. Back to our cargo rocket. Nice. So if everything's... Oh, wait. Oh, that's to get rid of the core fragments. We don't need those anymore. Um, good thing I remembered to put the filter on them. Uh, but yeah, that is... Let's see. 5.62 plus 7.8. Uh, about 13.4 barrel per second. Which is... Uh, more than doubling our barrel. Nice. So we should be able to keep, keep this thing running at full capacity. Uh, for quite a while now. Assuming there's no issues with the cargo rockets. I do count my delivered trains on each outpost. Do you not have... Uh, no. 300 by 150 big and snap size. Yeah, my last uh, playthrough I had bigger ones. Alright, looks like we actually have some landfill accumulating. Um, although I don't have my personal roboports. Uh, personal requests active at the moment. But it seems like our bots have finally not finished over here. Fantastic. That's a tree that we can't remotely remove. I might just have to remove that mod. Um, the tree blueprints. Alright. Landfill. Like this. Gonna have to manually remove all these trees. We've had some meteors, and I haven't set up the meteor defenses yet. Stuff might get broken.
You can cut them in half to 150 to 150, but for, for now, the size is barely enough to fit everything. Uh, what are we referring to, exactly? Landfill here as well, please. Fantastic. Still can't quite fit these signals. Something in the way over here. Wait, did we get the signals? No, there's like two... Oh, it's not signals, it's the curved rail. It doesn't fit here. Alright, landfill, like a dis, and a like a dis. It's probably enough. Do we have any more? We have 64. Cool, so we've at least caught up to building one block um, without stuff missing. Alright, place the blueprint, it's actually all posted now, which means we should be able to place our, um, our depot. I know I updated the Space Rail Depot. Is there a world where I want to change the ground one to act like this? Probably. Let's have a look in the editor. So here's our Space Rail one. And it's actually set up with a sushi belt. Um, for the, uh, for the batteries that are going to be both input and output from the trains. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe the same layout for the trains on the ground, for the depots from this point on, might be good. There's also, might still be a small mistake or something in the old depot that I'm yet to correct. So I'll have a look at that. I don't have the space trains. Rip. Um, okay, what I might do is decon belt. Splitters, loaders, and decon uh, yellow inserters, and copy these yellow inserters. And nothing else. And then we should be able to fit those in the same place. I think that's it right there. Has to be. Logistic train stop is in the way. Uh, I messed up something. One, two, to the left. Logistic... Oh, substation is in the way. Okay, get out of here, substations. We'll redo you. And 
And I don't think this container makes sense. Alright. So, this goes over here. And then... We start doing the sushi belt. Like a this. Uh, we have bread unloader. Like so. We're not gonna... I was going to say, we're not going to bother outputting the batteries. But we may as well at least blueprint it with that. Right, so this goes up to the train stop and turns right. And goes through here. Could be useful for what you're doing. I can send a link to Cybertus Recipe Converter. Yeah, I thought of doing that, but this will be a bit easier, actually. I don't want to do all the same short space undergrounds, for example. Uh, okay, so that does a snake, underground, snake, underground, snake, underground, snake, underground, and so on. It's not going to be exactly the same because the undergrounds can go further. And this has to go here. And then that almost reaches where I would like. I don't really want to use blue belt just to make this look like that. But it hurts either way. Uh, how about this? Something like that. And then same thing over here. Oh, that's a good fit. I like that. And then, and then we do the same thing. Let's grab just the belts and undergrounds and this goes here. This goes somewhere. Did I rotate that wrong? I am very confused. Okay. I need to remember to add an underground. What? Well, no, instead of that, why don't I... There we go. Cut. And a paste. And a paste. And that should just line up back up here. I like that. Let's grab the big poles and substations. And paste like so. Uh, we should have exactly one constant combinator here. We've got two. Why is that? Oh, because uh, this is a drop-off. Hold up. Shouldn't there be three? This station is different. So this is for picking up the batteries that need to be recharged. Um, and that goes... Like this. And it was just a short train, right? That makes a lot of sense. That looks weird. Is that right? Yes, I believe it is. Alright. 
in goes the batteries. What are they called again? Um, I actually can't remember. Space train power pack discharged. Space train power pack discharged. Also, copy-pasting those inserters gave us all the correct um, near-slash-far-side settings, I believe. Do you guys know how to test if an intersection works as intended without completely obliterating my factory with deadlocks? Um... Not really. I mean, the way I do my intersections is basically regular signal out, chain signals in, chain signals in the middle, and break it up into sectors um, so that the trains can go through here without thinking they're blocked over here, for example. I definitely want to copy these settings. And that connects to here. Did I connect it correctly here before? Yes. Copy paste your factory in a lab. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, this is going to be a drop off for batteries. I won't be using them just yet, but I would like the blueprint to have these settings. I haven't actually put a request for them here yet. Uh, and then the one other constant combinator is here. Train light 3, stop is depot, connects to every one of our depot stops. And it looks like that's all good. Wait, this should be a depot stop. And this one as well, probably. Cool. Seems a good... Right then. Let's make our new depot. So this is... Well, considering our naming convention... Uh, I think what I'll do... Is just this, but with space train... in the name. So depot, uh, number one for short trains, and space train, whoop, what's it called? Space locomotive, that'll do. Uh, LCL train, LCO depot V2. Is it possible to do a builder train with bot construction in just SE without K2? Uh, you could do it if you use another mod called, uh, what's it called? Vehicle equipment grid, I believe. Fantastic. And then 
that goes here. Uh, and now we need a version with longer trains. Which means the big pole is going to be in the wrong place. Uh, it's probably fixable. Let's just build this one first. Okay. There we go. I thought the bots would be building this already. Might be easier to just go grab some uh, some rail. They are building it. Fantastic. Or you could just use Spidertrons, yeah. Spidertrons have some disadvantages though. Especially the fact that we don't have them yet. These Angel add-on mass transit gives special Roboport wagon. That sounds good. We need more red undergrounds already. Oh no. Alright, let's set up our production chain here. Probably going to need quite a bit. Uh, belt. 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 Splitter also wants belt. And I'm guessing loader wants belt. Loader wants low level loader as well. And then I like this. They're probably all going to need requester chests, or at least half of them. How's our barrel doing? Now that we more than doubled it. In theory. The fact that I'm not seeing a whole cargo wagon here suggests the train has come and gone. How's our rocket? Is more than half full. Very nice. I'm pretty sure there'd be a little bit of barrel left here if this had been used yet. Alright, barrel get over here. Then quest chests. What do we need? Single cylinder iron and beam. And then Gear wheel. It's already being requested here. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Big Brain, thank you. Uh, apparently it wasn't Big Brain to right-click to build these when I need just one to start with. Maybe limit that a little bit. Where's our iron? Uh, it's actually run out. It's just run out. 
Oh no, they're getting some more from over here. Alright, let me go pick some more up. On this horrifically iron-starved world. You know what? Let me just do it this way. Keep the bots. Uh, keep the fuel. Alright, that'll do. Down we go. How is game? Uh, well... I kinda sorta came here with solar panels, not realizing solar panels are terrible on this planet. And I kinda sorta came here without enough iron. Uh, and iron is terrible on this planet as well. Even to just craft a few more things to get the job done. But other than that, beautifully. Just made a couple of regular barrel outposts on the barrel planet to speed things up. We'll soon be actually researching Space Elevator. Uh, at least that's what I claim. It's full of cliffs? Yeah, it is very full of cliffs. Look at that. Have you ever seen such a beautiful sight? Cliff fans losing their minds. That's a lot of cliffs, yeah. We brought several hundred cliff explosives, but it might not be enough in the end. Go pick up that free building. And I kind of want this landfill. to build some sort of cliff hanger. Oh no. Uh we're still 320 stacks on this. There we go. This this is another train load about to come in. Interesting, we can pin messages now. Uh indeed. It says pinned by Veldak. I kind of misread that as powered by Veldak. Alright. So we have a trickle of iron coming in again. I really should just send another rocket. Except that means unpacking this one. Wait a sec. I never packed ammo? Okay. Alright. We have the ingots, we do... It, it's fully packed, so I know we've got everything. Um, we don't need this stuff again. But we could use more ammo. More chests might be good. Um, more rail couldn't hurt, I guess. We don't need to double up on this stuff, I don't think. Especially the huge storage tanks. I didn't actually remember to change those. Um, probably not the multi-cylinders at this point. Probably don't need that many circuits, but... What else should I send? Researching space elevator tech seems to be somewhat stuck. Nah, not not even a little bit. It's not that we've been waiting to saturate. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a whole other 40 stacks here before this happens. Uh, I might just limit this one. Uh, but yeah, we're actually going to be saturated on barrel plate before we start accumulating ingots. Um, 
which will start to send to orbit. Um, and that's been taking a while to saturate, and I didn't want to change it. We do have saturated cargo rocket sections, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, uh, not only are we just happening to catch up to where we're keeping ingots in here now, but... Wait, didn't we have a setting on this? Oh, I disabled it. Yeah, I remember why I did disable it. I really want to prioritize the um, cargo rocket sections. Um, but yeah, this is backed up now, so we're going to keep ingots. Um, and once we have, what is it? A hundred times eighty? Eight thousand ingots. That's stack size, though. I guess I could set a smaller provide threshold here. Uh, once we have a bunch of ingots, we're going to send them to Lazy Science um, Argo Rocket, and we're going to get a whole lot of research done. But on top of just starting to catch up to actually make the ingots, or keep the ingots, uh, I also just more than doubled our barrel from our barrel core fragment planet with a bit of regular mining, because the stack size on barrel is not as horrendous as some other resources we could name. That's another 3.8 million barrel. Probably stand to tap into that. How many more drills do we have? We have 40. That's fine. We've run out of fast loaders, though. I'll give that a minute. Uh, but yeah, we've got 400 out of 500 stacks of barrel waiting for this rocket to be full before it goes back to Hagen. Alright, do we actually have any fast loaders here? We do. Fantastic. Uh, I need some personal logistics. And I need some provider chests for this stuff. There we go. Seems the Logi bots have a lot to bring. Should have moved down here. That's a bit quicker. Just a tad. Alright, let's look back at our Hagen rocket. Uh, what else are we taking out of this? We need ammo. Lots and lots of ammo. Or... Let's say 5k? Wait, that might be too much. That's 250 stacks. I don't want to go that far. How about... 2k. Pretty sure we have room. Do we not have chests? We do. Oh, they have built this, finally. Stop at 50. Actually, why don't you just stop at one stack? And why is this not moving? This 
Christine's gives. And then... It's kind of dodgy. Why don't I just copy-paste that? Should be this. What should this be set to? Probably that. Except without such large numbers, please. Good grief. out of my inventory and how's iron doing? Bad. Turns out two per second or whatever this is isn't that good when we're trying to make some belt. Okay. Back to Exorium. We should be able to make another lazy mine or two, I hope. Can I not scroll this one through? There we go, lazy mine. I might be able to get full coverage with a pair of these. Not quite. That's some convenience right there. Let's get some rail up here. And... You know what? This could probably just... Oh, that's awkward. Let's signal, though. Connect like this. And connect like this. And this one... Like so. Seems good. Let's check on our construction train. Seems it's fully loaded. See how much of this it can build. And the return. Alright. Back to our planet with our pathetic amount of iron. Uh, therefore, back to Hagen. Let's send some more iron ingots this time. I'm thinking double it should maybe be our standard. 2500 ingots. In future. How much space have we got left? Quite a bit. Uh, more landfill? Would be a big help. I probably don't need to send any circuits right now. Let's check. We got 4.8k red, 8.3k green, 996 blue. And we sent almost all of, like, that we've barely used any. Might cut this in half next time. But only if I actually remember how much this is. 
Uh, I don't have a spec combinator for it right now. How about here? 5k. Two K and five hundred seems reasonable. All right. Um, some more train stops, loaders and unloaders might be convenient, but they're not that hard to make. Let's leave it for now. Why have we still got zero of this? Iron gears are on the way. Oh, they get stolen by this one. But they're not going anywhere, except in here. Or is it getting requested? Oh, it's coming to me. Products finished seven. Okay, cool. That works. Nice. Oh, I really like the the power pole layout for this build. Very, very nice. Uh, let's put down our construction train. I think I have a blueprint for it. Probably not in the blueprint book, though. I think it's in, like, Navsat. randomly. I need to clean this out. All these temp builds. Much better. Alright, let's have a look at Exoria. And where's our construction train? It's still here. Uh oh. Uh, move over here and don't pick up any core fragments. Fantastic. Did we send any barrel back yet? Oh, we did. So, barrel, in barrel ingots are still not going at full speed. What the hell? Uh-oh. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't put a filter here. Okay, that's fine. I think it just arrived because I saw this inserter moving. So we only just put all the cargo rocket sections back here. 29 of them. That's a, not the worst recycle rate. So we didn't really lose any time here. Well, I think we're going to bottleneck on processing, so we sort of did. So now instead of... What is this? 18... 67 molten per second. Instead of like 0.26 per second ingots, we should get 3.2. Approximately. That's still going to take its sweet time before it triggers a whole delivery. We've got 132 stacks remaining. Nope, we're still trying to load ammo, actually. Um, where are we getting the ammo? From here. How much ammo are we still trying to load? 840? Did I overdo it a bit? Yeah, I think more than 1k is maybe going a bit far. Uh, that said... What are we going to do with 144 stacks, more than that, that we're not using? 
How much more landfill do we have as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get loads of landfill. Don't need this this time. Don't need this this time. And don't need this this time. Maybe more iron as well. Be a good idea. Why not? Double it. I do not want to be out of iron again. Besides, it'll... Uh, it'll just mean fewer deliveries of rockets in the future as well to refresh iron. Okay, back to Exorium. Oh yeah, I was supposed to be blueprinting this train. Uh, trains and nothing else. I can... That's not what I had in mind. Uh, Loco and Roboport. Wait, do we have vehicle? Roboport? There it is. Construction train. And let's actually put this in somewhere where we would look for it. There we go. And construction train go burr. I don't have any solid fuel set up yet. Oh great. Um tell you what. Could, no? Could you please come back this way. There's no train stops yet. Oh, they're vanilla train stops. I gotta handcraft them. But I have no I have no iron or steel. Wait, what? Give me that damn iron. Where is it hiding? Alright, a couple of regular train stops. Right about here, please. And then you can empty. And RTB. Nice. I need to make a single Tesla coil to charge our train. Why is it waiting so long? 60 seconds. Oh yeah, because sometimes bots take their sweet time coming back. Usually it's unnecessary, though. Okay. How much landfill do we have here? 8.4k. We're still going to have space left over. Actually, I think that's before it puts in another 5k iron ingots. Right then. Uh, could you please build over here? Fantastic. Wait, what? Oh, it just finished emptying, I guess? That doesn't sound right. Uh, also, I haven't updated this blueprint. Let's do the same thing we did on Exorion. Uh, Copy-paste that. Red wire goes from here and from here. Uh, is that right? Let's 
have a peek. So, yeah, the red wire reading the train contents goes directly to set filters whitelist, and we subtract what is supposed to be in the train, which is on the red wire from these two combinators. And we make an exception for construction parts. That looks good. Fantastic. Meanwhile, on Hegan. Are we still loading? Uh, we just finished. Still got 127 stacks. Oh, and we're still unloading the circuits that we don't need to send again. Let's just fill it with um, landfill and maybe more iron. I really don't want to have to do this again. And we will have to regularly supply it with iron. So it looks like we're going to have... Um, Twenty-three, thirty-three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, is that forty-three? I got confused. I think it's fifty. Forty or fifty plus four. Inserter takes its sweet time though. I could actually put another one here, but it wouldn't have the right stack size. It'd double up. Twenty forty fifty four stacks, I think. Okay. Another 2k. And say another 400. And that ordering was terrible. <laughs> because these ingots are going to go around in circles. Oh well. Bonk. Emo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, our mine is missing a couple of things. Please don't tell me we're out of cliff explosives. I think I might cry. Tears. Uh, cliff. We don't have cliff explosives. Uh, okay. What if we turn this one around? I have ideas. We're going to do another lazy mine, but it's going to be facing north. Uh, those substations don't have to snap together. Not sure if you input that number. That last 400. I added 400 to... The landfill. Yeah, that was what I wanted. Oh, apparently I needed to add more still. I'll just wait till the processing units are gone. Okay. So I just want this rail to curve around like so. And we'll have two train stops in sequence. Looks like we're still looking for fast loaders. We're down to our last two, apparently. How many more express do we have? Nine? Uh, 
So it's going to take a whole minute to load this. Uh, some of this is already here, so that should be okay. Except the bots are very slowly bringing them back. Okay. Come to think of it, shouldn't the bots be very slowly building this whole thing? Well, regardless. Um, we've only got 24 drills. And that's everything. Alright, let's try parking our train down here. Wait for lots of inactivity. Here she comes. Do we have power? Yeah, we've got power. These are just kind of slow. Do we have range? I believe so. Uh, are we out of bulk rail loaders? No, we've got those. They're right here. So why isn't... What? What the... Huh? That was weird. Alright. What are we missing here? And how many loaders do we have back at base of which type? We've got nine express. So... If I s upgrade some of these to express for no real reason, we should have the reds that we need in the middle here. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then... One fast loader should find its way back to here so we can control this input. Also, we need these settings. It's already set. Fantastic. And here it goes. No, don't go back. Silly bot. Oh. Oh, no, here it comes. Fantastic. I think that's everything. Yes. That is actually finished. Cool. Back you go. So we've got 1.7, 3.4... Uh, plus 3.8... Uh, more than 7 million barrel waiting to be mine. And finding its way back to Hagen relatively quickly. I might even make another block for processing barrel. It really confuses me that I never ever find these furnaces active. Although... I do think I remember ratioing it so that it would take a while for this to get, um, barrel. But it should be... let's see. We need 11.733 beryllium powder per second. This can make 11.9. Okay. Okay. And I don't think this actually outputs 11.9 per second. Um, because something is slightly undersupplied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The beryllium hydroxide is slightly too slow. No, it's positive. Yeah, 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 the beryllium hydroxide is positive, but I think its input is slightly undersupplied, but not enough to make a difference. Beryllium sulfate, 
3.968 per second. And it's like negative 0.032 per second if this is continuously supplied, which it hasn't been in the past. There we go. Now it's all... Now it's all active. So that'll take its sweet time saturating, but it should saturate. Where you go? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh... I think our ingots got ripped. I think we should make another ingot processing block already. Uh, is this going to be a problem? Not really. But I don't want to copy-paste that bit up there. Let's see. Let's go as far as this. And then... Grab this top part, I guess. That looks pretty good. And don't forget this part. That should be our build. This doesn't have any loaders. That should be fine. Let's get our construction train to pay him a visit. Right about here should cover everything. And we'll see how many trips it needs to take to finish that build. Are they prod 3? They are, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. We've got a lot more prod 3s nowadays than we had before. So that won't be a problem. There's our depot. Still not quite complete. It's missing a lot of undergrounds. Maybe I should just not make it that big of a depot. <laughs> uh, I'm glad we made the updated blueprint though. But now it does the sushi belt, so... Well, it doesn't have to do the sushi belt. Not until we get the, um... Not until we get the space trains. Let's just make this a bit smaller for now. So we can have up to four short trains. more sensible and we won't be needing the outputs this time that looks right maybe I should do like a combined uh, short and long train depot for these outposts. That makes a ton of sense, actually. Because we're never going to use all of this for the few trains that we need on these planets. I'm thinking up to four short trains and up to eight or twelve. Uh, long trains should be more than enough. Let's jump into the editor real quick. So... This is going to be specifically for these outposts, so I don't mind removing these ahead of time. And 
And we're going to want... Well, for one thing, there's big electric poles going to be in the way. I'm going to want to move this back to where the train's going to be. Uh, don't actually need this side. Uh, we're not going to have the same wiring, the same settings for all of these. Instead, we're going to have longer trains everywhere else. Okay. So that goes there. And that's going to be depot for double length train. Um, these are going to need moving. This will go back a couple of tiles, I guess. means that's going to look awkward. I don't like it. In fact, I hate it. Uh, I think what I did in the past was something like this. How far, how far did I just move that? Two tiles. I think I like this more. But then... It isn't... Oh, here it is. One whole tile where we can fit this. Okay. So that goes there, that goes there. That goes... That's already in the right place. This is in the wrong place. This needs to go here. Which means this is all messed up. God damn it. Um not sure how to go about this one. That doesn't even fit. To do a snaky like this. I really don't love the look of that. Should probably make it go with the flow more. Like that. And like that. Then probably swap these around. Maybe. Seems better. Can we make it symmetrical? I don't like that. Except this is facing the wrong way. Where the hell do I think this is going? Uh, this needs to be this way around. Like 
this. Alright, that looks good. That looks good. And we've actually got room for... for way too many trains. Um, Alright, let's remove red belt from all of this. Remove the inserters as well. And then copy like so. Not quite. How about this? Didn't even have to shift click, that's a good sign. Uh, I'm very confused, here we go. And then that doesn't have to go anywhere. Actually, I think I do kind of like the idea of it sushiing around, even if it's not for the batteries. Cool. So we have short train, drop off fuel, refuel itself in the process, I guess. Uh, short trains, one, two, three, four, depot stops. Pretty sure all of those can get fueled. And then long trains. Looking good. I definitely like this more. And we only need one rail block for all of our train depots at an outpost. Alright. Depot. Uh, skip this one. Where's the blueprint? There it is. Depots for short and long trains. Uh, what have we got? 5, 10, 15. We could have 4 short trains and 15 long ones with this. Looks good. I feel like I'm missing something. I should be able to select new contents because the only uh, bulk rail unloader is north to south. Oh, oh that's for a long, uh, short train. I need to give it the station name for the long ones. I thought there was something missing that I hadn't done over there. Let's see station names from the map. 15 twos, four ones, and what the heck is this? Oh, drop off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems a good. Actually, let me put this as one and two. Oh. We take the blueprint, we select new contents, and because our only bulk rail loaders slash unloaders are facing north south, it shouldn't cause any problems. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that, but that's as good a test as any. I have decided I'm committing... committed to finish my SE.5 map at 2.2k SPM. Yikes. Uh, good luck, Veldak. Wait, I forgot. Uh, undo. 
I forgot to connect the wire. Now you have to blueprint the whole thing again. Well, we have to select new contents. But to do that, there we go. So, uh, let's do the wire first. Fantastic. And select new contents. Very good. And I should be able to place that right here without changing anything, I think. Let's find out. Looks like it's good. The only thing in the way is the bulk rail loader, which is in the exact same spot. Oh, do we have any bots coming? I believe so. Hopefully we've got a bit more underground belt by now. We've got zero. Fantastic. Because I didn't put iron beams here. Quite the opposite of speed in the end? Do you mean UPS? I'm guessing. Okay. Let's check our rocket on Hagen. It is... Oh, did we get this build done? Kinda. We've already got Feral here. We've got Pyroflux as well, but I don't see stuff moving. Well, regardless, let's get our construction train to pay it another visit. Hopefully get all the modules in this time. It's probably a building missing that makes some pipe connect. Something like that. Oh, there's a bunch of underground blues missing. Woke up and already tired again? Ouch. And relate. Uh, we don't have beacons for efficiency, but that's all we're missing right now. It looks like... Oh, we also need a flare stack. For the water. And a single fast inserter? Really? Is it out of range? No, I think... Uh, what? Why don't we build this? Are our bots lost or something? That's not what I meant to do. Station names get out of here so I can see something. Yeah, we're just not building this one fast inserter. Okay, that's one way to do it. Uh, and that just leaves the flare stack. And... Beacons. Do we have beacons over here? We do not. Let's request some. Uh, I should probably figure out which cargo wagon it's going to go in first. We do have flare stacks. Just haven't put them in the train, I guess. Factory asks, factory is given? I think my factory has become sentient. Uh, congratulations. Oh, here they are. There's your problem. Alright, cool. Can I make this playback? It does say global. I don't think I can hear it on another surface, though.
How's our barrel doing? Looking good. Fantastic. Nice. And nice. Are we just about done loading construction train? Not quite. I think pro probably the front wagon might have some space left over. We were putting flare stacks here before. That's a lot of prods. Okay, we got two stacks. Let's go player stacks and beacon. Although making it full can be a bit of a problem for the bots, but it'll have to do. So now we need to wait for delivery of beacons, which is... Probably already scheduled. No, never mind. Hold up. Let me double check something. Request stack threshold 1. Yeah, so they should be on the way. We've got 33 basic beacons back here. Yep, there we go. We're picking up 20. Fantastic. Nice. Away you go. And it's only going to be a moment, so I may as well wait till that gets put in our train. So I can not have to remember. There we go. And off you go. To completely finish that build. With no efficiency modules, I'm just realizing. Okay. I guess I'll wait till the train comes back, see which cargo... Uh, cargo wagon has more room. Now then. We still haven't sent our rocket... Uh, mostly because we were just waiting to see it fill up and decide what to add to it. Ten stacks? Nine stacks. Wait, what? It says cargo 481. Oh, there's another... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's just fill it with ingots. It's already so full of ingots, though. I think we're overcompensating. Landfill is a lot less stack dense. Like, it, it runs out faster, rather. It's actually pretty stack dense. So, 1900 landfill. And once that's loaded in, we'll send it. Uh, actually, we want verb T landing pad as our target. And I'll just double check that's the convention. Uh, we want to call it Verb Team Mall. Verb Team Mall. Fantastic. Trains like this seem so complex. I love it to build it myself, indeed. Valma, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Looks like we are ready to launch. Let's -a go. And let's next time double check that it's being sent to the right planet before we click the launch button, actually. Fantastic. 
Here it comes. And I do not think we'll be running out of iron very soon. Let's get some more storage chests. And I want to see how our ingots are doing. Uh, production. Ingot. Barrel. That's a trending upward. Actually, since we know that this build is enough to supply the cargo... Uh, cargo rocket sections... I think I would like to go... and say... Brilliant ingots have to be more than 40 stacks. So 40 hundred. And why don't you just go stack size 1 while you're at it? You know what? Make it like 42 stacks. Well, just add 50. 40, 50. Alright, want those ingots piling up in here before they go to plate. That way we'll actually send some to space one day. Uh, one day this week. Right, what do we got? We could put some efficiencies in here, I guess. And... Over this way. T-Hacks, are all redeems about name in the base from five days ago resolved? Um, I believe so. I've been double-checking the uh, reward queue for that. Have a look. Oh, okay. Purple or planet, please. That was Robot Wars. I think we did do that. Purple or planet. I think... Robot Wars meant the one with where we're getting raw Imasat from. Um, I don't remember where it is. This is it. Or maybe I did get distracted. Maybe it's on a whole other planet, though. Does K2 add Imasite core planets? Uh, I believe it does, yes. I mean, I can do a search real quick. Let's have a look at a combinator. Core fragment Imasite. Here it is. Imasite cave. Um, I could have sworn I did that one. Uvim... Andy Gaming. Did I... Surely I didn't miss this much. I need to check all the name and bases now. It's not like I can... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Triple Exposer. Ex Ezriac, yes. Kinda brave. That doesn't ring bell. Uh, I was gonna double check this on my own time as well. Robot Wars is already here three times. I'm pretty sure I put him on a different planet. Was it Granite's? Or was that ages ago? Not one of the new outposts had a similar layout. Oh, here we go. Robot Wars, Boovim, Andy was here as well. Yes, we did those. Check, check, check. 
I am the sky, kinda brave, and Kandar Junior. Uh, I don't think I did I am the sky's next name in base. So it looks like I am the sky wanted it here. If it's a bonus name, it's a bonus name. No big deal. Uh, kinda brave. Judging by the train of requests, probably wanted it in the same place. Uh, Kandar Jr. on Nalvis. Uh, where's our names? And uh, Junior, fantastic, and the JMO. Uh, any preference? For which planet? Just spent the better part of two hours to set up a system that automatically fills my train grids with engines and power supply. Nice. Planet of choice. Uh. I could do the one that's right in front of us. Any. Okay. Now we go. Wait a sec. We don't have this one automated. Um. Okay. Kendar Jr. So JMO. How about Renis? Wait, no, Kandar Jr. said Nalvis, right? Yeah, well, I'll have to go back there. Oof, owie. Could we... They should have it, actually. What are these called? Um, small stone text plate. Okay, do we have stone brick? We do. Pretty sure we can sort this out. Uh, in fact, why don't I build it down here? Requester. Provider. Some inserter. Here we go. Uh, small stone text plate. Bricks are on their way. Fantastic. And here we go. That wasn't so hard. I got LTN, so I was hoping to somehow stop them from running off. Wait, what? Looking for a way to replace my existing trains without manually chasing them down? <laughs> oh no. Uh, shoot artillery at your depots. <laughs> Update your depot names and shoot at the old artillery depots. I mean, train depots. Alright, how much of this is built? Not that much. Let's uh, go over here and see what happens. How is there only 50 iron ingots in the system? Oh, the bots are taking their sweet time emptying this, that's why. Uh, because all the old storage is down here. Let's move it. Got the construction bots to do that. And put some storage chests over here. Now 
now we're making progress. Okay, so this will be a fragment of the Holmanite variety. Uh, what? Four fragment Holmanite, there we go. Stack size is... I not see it. Fantastic. It's probably 20. 20 times 80. 1600. Let's ask for 3200. And this is... Fulminite Core Fragment Request. And I don't think we're going to send regular Holmanite back to Hagen. We can already dig that up from there. This is just um, to take the edge off it and for the long term. Homey night, indeed. Uh, okay, I need five, six, I need a bunch more. Twelve more. Storage chests. I don't strictly need them, but it's fine. This is going to be pointed at Hagen. And its destination is going to be... That's not Hagen. Wait, yes it is. Up. Uh, we've got one landing pad left right now. Full night for a fragment. Bracket H. Set the filters. And more fragment Holmanite. There we go. And then it needs a name. Holmanite. More fragment. Fantastic. Holmanite CF. Launch trigger, launch on cargo full. And that's pretty much that. Uh, we will be needing to set the channel. Multi rocket requests. What's this planet called again? Verb T. Multi rocket requests. And we're going to need to set up another bit of spaghetti over here to supply. To supply to Verb T. I think I can just expand it like this. Where's our train? It's fully loaded. Fantastic. Wait for inactivity. And if we copy pasted settings, I want to make sure we change them right away. That's pointed at. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so this is pointed at verb T. Uh, it's gonna be aimed at 
I guess on Exorian we didn't update the landing pad name. Uh, send that to the mall. And this is set to verb team multi rocket requests. And everything else probably should be exactly the same. That should be fine. Doesn't have all its cargo rocket sections that are still being loaded though. Oh, but it's got the filters built in these days. Should be okay. Hey, Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So next we want some... Well, we want a lot more power, to be honest. Maybe not that much more power. Um, what do we got? Like 120 uh, megawatts from gas power here, running off of water, and we can easily expand it. Uh, I think we'll probably go for a few more core fragments than we usually do here. Oh yeah, I need to do the um, liquid rocket fuel build sooner rather than later. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. And thanks for spending some of it with us. Alright, I'm going to need some landfill over here. I'm also going to need to get rid of these damn trees one by one. Because they do not get removed by bots. Because they act like buildings, but not. There is no other Factorio streamer I'd rather watch. Thank you. That is quite the compliment. Thank you so much. My birthday is next month. I think of something special to do. Sounds good. There are some, but none of them playing SE. Okay, then. Uh, how's this look so far? I want it about here somewhere. Where am I standing right now? Why don't I just place some regular rail blocks where I want these two builds to be? And I'll start removing and landfilling. Oops, a cliff. The jolts from placed the signals are getting pretty bad. This is going to be a whole lot of fun, removing all these trees manually. Do grenades work on those? I don't know, but I don't have any. Uh, the nearest coal is... God knows where. Entity. Coal. Uh, we got 75... K over here. That's not that bad. You know what? It might actually be worth getting some... Oh wait, I've got rockets. I've got 50 uh, heavy rocket launcher rockets. They have a decent radius. Let's try it. But you know what? Um, let's not try it on our own turbines. Whoa. That looked and felt Weird. Uh, it's getting the job done, though. I can't move fast for ages after shooting it. I completely forgot I had the rockets. This is definitely making it easier. 
And I went and destroyed my own stuff, just like I said I didn't want to. Whoops. Oof, that almost destroyed the wind turbine. Uh, but that definitely speeds things up a bit. Heavy rocket could help, indeed it could. Uh, nothing over here we have to worry about hitting. I'm not going to rocket just one tree. And... I think there's a... No, there's no signals there. Okay, is that just about cleared? We're going to need a lot of landfill. Luckily we already ordered some. We have some stone, right? I don't think I actually got any stone directly out of this. Just want to use it for, uh, for paving. Could burn them too? Uh, you know, I almost wouldn't trust them to burn. Let's have a look. Okay. They don't seem to get set on fire. They just take direct damage. But they don't have a lot of hit points. Don't rocket a single tree, new kids. <laughs> look, look, there is no overkill, there is only open fire, and I need to reload. But if you go nuking a single tree, you're definitely more likely to find yourself saying, I need to reload at an inopportune moment. You don't actually need to be destroying stuff down here. Whoops. Alright, I want some landfill. Give to me the landfill. Fantastic. Logibots are still coming at me. There we go. Matthew MJB, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, can we put this here now? Not quite. Not even close on this side. Let's begin the landfill. Despite the copious amounts of s that I sent by rocket, I really could see myself running out. Second thought, we do need the roundabout. I still have landfill? Unbelievable. Alright. That is mostly looking pretty good. I think these immortal trees are in the way. And over here. Down below. Yeah. 
and especially up here. Without the swaying leaves, the trees look like cardboard cutouts. Yeah, that is how that works. I thought I accidentally built out here. Let's get rid of it. And see if we can place all of this now. Not quite. We need some removal down here. And some fill up here. And what the heck is that? Another immortal tree branch. How's the space elevator progress? Uh, technically zero. We're waiting to get a bunch of ingots. Oh, that's slower than I thought. Uh, I could force a delivery or two. How far does a stack of beryllium ingots get us towards the elevator, I wonder? Um, the one thing we do need beryllium for specifically, what was it? We need 20 plate for... we need 10 plate for one pack, so 2,000 times 10. Um, so 20,000? Uh, 20,000 plate to make the science happen. Uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot to tag this as well. Beryllium ingot. So this is 1 to 10, right? So 2,000 ingots. So this is, this will get us like a quarter of the way there, actually. What about over here? There's nothing. Okay. Um, why don't I just set provide stack threshold really low here? And I believe we're requesting beryllium ingots at lazy science delivery already. Maybe that is not true. Ingot, beryllium. Uh, I think we're requesting 5k from orbit already, but I forgot to set the the logistic train request down there. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we're going to try and accumulate 5k ingots here. There we go, picking up almost 500. So that's going to be about a quarter of what it takes to do our space elevator. Um, but only if I don't save other materials by using the beryllium ingot recipe over here. Uh, the beryll beryllium plate. Which at this point I'm seriously tempted to just stick with the less efficient recipe. Um... Well, let's have a look. Uh, frame. Blank observation frame. One coal, one glass, one steel, ten light oil. One coal, one glass, no steel, ten light oil makes twice as much for one beryllium plate. Um... That, that's going to add up, but at this point, considering the resources we have, and we're literally just waiting on beryllium, uh, I'm thinking probably just don't bring plate here. More due to prod? Oh yeah, true. Yeah, if we're willing to pour, like, infinitely more steel and double everything else into frames, then we're more than, we're significantly more than a quarter of the way in terms of the material that's on its way here uh, to getting to space elevator. Let's have a look. Do we have beryllium ingots? We do. At this rate, I might have to force a delivery. 
or I could research something else to force resources to get consumed so that we use up another 80 stacks so that we don't waste cargo rocket space. Um, why don't we do atomic bomb? Oh, you need to research atomic bomb before rocket turret? Okay. I kind of want to try these rocket turrets. Alright. So that should be science in motion. Fantastic. I would just eat the rocket. Force delivery is better. Wow. Voted down. Steel equals cheap. Uh, sort of. At this point, I guess, yeah. I mean, we could also just change the research once the rocket gets delivered. Then again, it's going to spend time making astro packs while this is getting researched. Uh, so it's probably just going to rush ahead with the uh, space elevator research once it switches over. Rushing ahead of our other bottlenecks, that is. Okay. So we should be able to do all of this now. Fantastic. Uh, let's get our... free asterisk. free except for iron plate. God, there's more of these that I have to pick up. Yep. Out of my rail block. How dare you? Okay, let's try that again. Looks like still one thing over here. It's like in the way. Why is it showing red though? Oh, yeah, normally that wouldn't be a problem, right? Nope, there is water in the way here. There we go. Cool. Gonna have to go pick up our copious chemical plants, electrolysis plants, and so on. Uh, we should have everything we need to actually build this. Uh, and we need at least one, I think literally one is fine, offshore pump to put water in over here somewhere. Where's my offshore? There we go. Uh, and I actually want back to ground like this. Some more fill. And I like this. And so on. Gonna need a power pole. Don't even have a small one on me right now. Oh, because I just placed a million of them. That's probably why. Alright, bots, fill up my inventory, please. Um, and paste stone everywhere over here while we're at it. Didn't go far enough. What did it? This seems good. Let's go get some. St uh, wait a sec. There we 
yo. Much better. Should have a decent amount of stone in here by now. Fantastic. It's a start anyway. Seems a bit overkill without rampant anymore, but God demands rapid fire atomic. <laughs> uh huh. Um, do we have. Are the bots still emptying this? Wow, okay. That's, um, that's not what I was expecting. Let's give him a hand. Personal for a moment. Put this back in here. And realize that I didn't empty my trash slots. Alright, but we got this done. Now the construction bots are a bit more responsive. Nice. Why does the last eight steel take so much longer for the bots to pick up? What? What? Huh? Oh, this is on Hagen. Uh, wow. Thanks, cargo rockets. Actually destroyed something over here. Probably because there were multiple crashes in this area that we couldn't reach with our ludicrous um, net of roboports. Let's come over this way. Actually thought biters were somewhere. This should probably be construction mode. And this is going to need power. That's already powered. Construction mode, and there should be bots on the way. They're still busy picking up the pieces. That makes sense. Uh, let's mark crashed ship parts for deconstruction. And of course the bots for our train are going to get stuck. We'll just take it back and get it sorted out. And this robot network should have repair packs. Okay. Where are our electrolysis plants? Fantastic. Chemical plants would be good. Fantastic also, some huge storages, and we build, we need prod modules, I did bring them, sure of it, yeah we did, cool cool cool, I'd definitely like to make a start on the liquid rocket fuel before we, uh, before we finish today. As in physically make some. Is that actually all the plants we needed? Oh yeah, I brought enough for two. 
Oh, these are fuel refineries. I thought they were chemical plants. That means we need another 14. All right. And it would probably help if we connected this to the rest of the robot network. Or power network, I should say. That rail network as well. Let's get some fill in here. Are they not coming? Guess not. Okay. Try again. Fantastic. Thought that was mineral water, but it's just these damn trees. So that's all powered now. Good. Need a couple or like four or five atmo condensers um and i need a lot of pipe which we don't have right now i don't think i might just drop off some iron plate to get things started Yeah, we need tons of pipe. I can handcraft some, but the undergrounds are going to take time. We need 318 regular. I think that's it. Do I already have all the buildings placed at least? I think I do. Let's do a module insert. One efficiency each. And nothing else. That looks good. Now I need to actually pick up the efficiencies. Oh, and these should have prods, actually. Yatu Watu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so this is prod freeze. And go. Fantastic. Let's go get some more. Uh, where's our pipe build? Way down here, I think. Uh, and it seems like the bots have already brought me all the pipe to ground that we've built. Okay, then. I was gonna say don't need this anymore, but... Definitely want those gas power stations ready. When I decide to expand them. Yeah. This thing is not keeping up. Do a couple more. Still back on F24, also K2SE. What planet are you on? Uh, this is Verbti. Um, and we're just getting some Holmanite core fragments while we're waiting on some research. Which, uh, incidentally, I switched it over to Atomic Bomb because I actually needed to 
consume some resources to trigger this thing to launch. We've actually got 496 beryllium ingots waiting to go uh, to orbit, which is going to be about a quarter of, well, a bit more than a quarter of our research for the space elevator once it gets up there. But this thing's consuming resources a bit slower than I expected. Do we have more prods? We've got 18 prod 3s. I could do one more. Um, big science lab. Without sacrificing any productivity. Uh, where should I put it? I kind of want it close to these ones. Even if we are going to spaghet. And to be honest, I would prefer it if I didn't just double the requests for these things? Hmm. Here comes... no? Wait, do I not have a lab? Uh, I don't actually have a lab. Never mind. I'm not gonna bother with that. Hey, Dardano. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can you show your Iridium ingot setup? Um, sure. Iridium ingots are over here. Uh, and we're actually doing a lot of steps in one place here. So we take in nitric acid, which it seems like we've run out of. Uh, and hydrogen chloride. Also crushed iridite. Uh, over here we've got the build for cadian iron exchange beads, which are pretty... It's pretty straightforward, this part. Uh, nice, neat layout, nothing too complicated. We do have a flare stack somewhere for water, because we actually are net positive for water in this whole place. Um, but the complicated part here is just using a double chest so that we can do input-output for the physical objects, um, controlling the input to the first one and the second one and so on. Uh, this is really simple, this part. We're just going set filters blacklist. So anything that is in this chest, this stack filter inserter will not pick up from this chest. So we get a minimum amount uh, and plenty of room left in all of these chests. We put in the beads and uh, crushed iridite, as long as there's none in here. We output everything physical to this chest. And uh, down the bottom here, we only output the iridium powder, which is the only thing that doesn't get recycled. That goes to that belt. Uh, and then we have some squiggly pipe for the double, the, the ever enjoyable double fluid input chemical plant layout where you can't put these next to each other. Um, so then we've got iridium powder, uh, comes down here where we've got a bunch of centrifuges doing blast cake. The enriched vulcanite comes from over here, red stuff input, um, and then we've got blast cake finding its way down here, into the, into the furnaces, out comes steam and ingots, and we're good. The fluid input was really annoying, yeah, definitely. Neat setup, thank you. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention the, um the dirty water filtering, which was a whole other pain in the butt for the layout, but it's really not that bad. Um, for some reason we have no nitric acid though, which I haven't been aware of. We're out of rare metals. Okay. So rare metals are needed to make iridium in K2. 
our rare metals planet in this system. I think there's only one. Oh, is this it? Wait, what? No, there's three. Uh, we've got one with zero threat. That's mineral water. You absolute dirt. We've got a waterless one. It's a very small moon. Radius 818. Way over here. We've got Sophurna. Uh, also a small moon of Nalvis. No biters. Waterless again. So same thing as far as I'm concerned. We could maybe pay that one a visit. Uh, and the other one was Hyperion, which does have biters, and it's rather large. So I don't want to deal with that just yet. We do get some rare metals from Core Fragments. Um, but obviously it's not keeping up anymore. Uh, surprising no one, we went from just being saturated in rare metals to eventually having problems with it. Don't you get a lot from core mining? Uh, I don't think... I think the amount of rare metals that you get from core mining is a lot at first, because you don't have a sink for it. And it is kind of a lot, I think. Um, but not as much as what we need. Yeah, there's our rare metals now going over here. That's another train load. Which will get scheduled to be picked up probably right now. There it is. So the more coal mining we do, the more rare metals we get. That said, there are some rare metal patches on the surface. Uh, they're not that common though, I don't think. There's some. Let's see. Raw rare metals. We got 125k down here. Uh, this is probably our best patch within a decent distance. 685k. Down near the stone mine. We'll probably get that quite soon. Alright. But that's just about going to do it for today. Um, we'll be continuing at the same time tomorrow. And we should have we should have a new outpost and a lot of research done by the end of the stream, I imagine. Probably, hopefully, maybe space elevators even. Woke up early enough to see T hacks, Pog, Kodiak. I'm so sorry. Uh, good to see you again, though. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see who's streaming Ye old Factorio today, because I am pretty much spent. Especially since I wasn't able to do a caffeine run. Alright. I think it's probably going to be only Andy doing SEK2. Oh, what's this? Don't call me late for... No microphone? I'm going to go out on a limb... And say that the people who enjoy my stream uh, are going to want to hear a microphone. Going to want to hear a, a human voice from time to time. Um... Yeah, I think we'll drop in on Andy today. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And, uh, till next time. Well, till tomorrow. Stay safe. And I'll see you then. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Here we go. Take care. See you, Veldak. So, JMO. Let's hear that wonky Dutch odd strel Oddstradian accent. <laughs> wow, okay. I see how it is. Take care, fat boy. Take care, Sir GMO. Thanks. Thank you all for hanging out. And all the lurkers and everyone else as well.
see you next time.